Zach, try this. What is that? Dairy milk. Oh, oh. no, I don't want chocolate like that. It's this frozen chocolate's gonna break my teeth, but it's yeah. great. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> editor. Yeah, editor. I have chocolate all fucking shit for to have turds fall out. I'll be I'll be them. Hell yeah. <gasps> <gasps> my daughter's pretty. I love my daughter. My daughter's pretty. My daughter mate. does everything I want. She's my is little princess. Did I get your daughter pregnant, mate? You got my fucking daughter it's, pregnant, Kai. You he's know? downloading this. <laughs> he's downloading this source SDK it's, by it's his 2013. Let's go down the street. Show a big fucking load at me, daughter. I haven't played a fucking source game in four years. That is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that is very fucking cool. Do you do you remember when the Source engine came out? Oh, oh, I played Back Half in Life. like 2004. Yeah, I just got out of college. We always play Minecraft. I shot a big fucking load at my wife. <laughs> and she started to scream. There was no Minecraft in 2004. Oh. <laughs> Wait, when did Minecraft come? 2008? It was like 2010. Was, was something closer to like 2009, 2010? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Minecraft. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I have to yeah. wipe my fucking son's ass when he plays Minecraft. <laughs> He's 51. How old was your son when you were wiping his ass playing Minecraft? He's fucking 37, mate. Man, that's rough. He just shits himself when he plays Minecraft. What do you think of you two, like? I, 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 I hate you, you napkin. <laughs> for a wank. Mum, get the fuck out of here. I would like, oh, oh, like a napkin, oh. actually, to get this chocolate off my hands. Oh, how about I get the shit off your ass? That's not fucking chocolate. That's, that's fucking shit. shit. You're eating shit, darling. That's shit, oh, you dear. fucking pig. It's happened again, that's it. You fucking stupid cunt. You're eating shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you fucking forgot the difference between shit and chocolate? I am fucking retarded. You forgot the difference wait between moment, shit moment, and chocolate. Wait a moment, wait a moment. You fucking proddy bastard. Yeah, you fucking cunt. You fucking <laughs> pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking nonce, mate. <laughs> All right, then. Hey, we've got Nightmare Hours downloaded. You dirty fucking beautiful <laughs> eating shit, you naughty boy. He's a fucking nonce. <laughs> let's, get, let's get off this. Let's get off this topic. You're yeah, fucking guilty. Please keep it all there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we need it. Put on a video and see if the fucking... <laughs> see if the fucking sound, sound effects are fucking working. <laughs> How the hell are you getting that effect? I want his piece of chocolate in my fucking <laughs> mouth. He's got a dark piece of chocolate stuffed in his mouth. I'm stuffing my fucking face, man. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty pedophile. He's loading up with dairy milk in his. Butterfly. Ay, 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 I'm a little butterfly. Boy, you're flying. Go kicking, go queen, go queen, go Oh my god, Chris. What? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was, that was very borderline racist. I don't. I don't see how. Do <laughs> it could have been worse. It could have said I E I E I. I could barely see out my eyes. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> is that a is that another European song? <laughs> Or is that actually Japanese? I forget. It's probably, it's probably European. <laughs> That's a the lot stupidest of the, thing I ever heard. A lot what? of the a lot of the songs from DDR are Look European. Look up Smile DK. Are they? I, 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 I can barely see out my eye. <laughs> it was so dumb. That's why I laughed. We don't condone racism. Yeah, we do. Only when it's funny. <laughs> Only when it's Look really up Smile funny. DK. My name is Ding Dong. My name is Chris O'Neill. Fuck off. Don't make fun of me. Do you know who my dad is? He's a senator. I'm a senator. I'm a senator. Okay. What, what's that? <laughs> That's episode one. That's Queen Amidalin. Oh, I'm a senator. Uh, eh. She doesn't say that in episode one. It's episode two. She oh, says, yeah. I'm a senator. And he says, 
I don't care. Ah, oh, fuck! My opinion is that I'm a senator. In my <laughs> opinion, you fell in the hole! <laughs> it's my opinion that I want to be a senator. <laughs> fuck. You're not, though. You're not, Anakin. Annie. Annie. You're no Manny for me. Manny. Don't I call me that! <laughs> I am a Manny. <laughs> no, you're not. You're a baby. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Obi-Wan's fault! He's a baby! <laughs> I'm not this a baby. It's all Obi-Wan's fault. <laughs> You're a bigger baby than me. <laughs> <laughs> I like your Obi-Wan voice. going to cry? That's what he sounds like. <laughs> is baby going to cry? Little baby going to cry again? <laughs> <laughs> now you Why is your he... hair? <laughs> Why is he so mad? Better go home, Anakin. Your mother's getting raped <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh... It's my opinion that your mom's getting raped and it doesn't. <laughs> Shit, whoa. Oh, I know what I want to talk about. Okay. Tell me. This is something that I, that has always been like really funny to me. What? It's obviously not a funny topic, but we talked about this before. We were talking about, um,. We're talking about pedophiles and people who get caught with like terabytes of porn and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were like, it's just, it's funny that you hear these like horror stories, these people who get caught. I mean, obviously it's bad, but they go to these like bunkers set up like an Indiana Jones movie where when you walk in, they're rigged with explosives. Wait, really? Yeah. You call it, you coined the term pedo bunker. Yeah, the pedo, the fucking pedo bunkers. <laughs> where the second you open the door, it's like a Rube Goldberg machine goes off and all these cords get pulled and like it hits a fuse and everything explodes and shuts down. We're saying like they don't have a few gigabytes. It's always like, yeah, it's, it's like, like so and so has been caught with 87 terabytes <laughs> of <laughs> grainy VHS footage of nude children. <laughs> like, where do you even get that much? See, like we talked about oh, this. Fuck. Oh. They have to say they could run the footage continuously oh, no. for 87 years straight. We, I was saying like they all. probably have like 180 like peak pic like j massive pictures and video footage of this stuff, <laughs> or it's all like Blu-ray. Cause I don't know, I've never used a terabyte of memory in my life. Do you know? You? you don't think that's part of uh, like just I don't know normal psychology where once you discover like that is... downloading movies and like videos and shit, you you go overboard at first. No, no, no. I, I always thought it was like a fear tactic, right? Like, oh. oh, this fucking, this pedophile downloaded 80 terabytes of dial porn! <laughs> it like, it'll like, set off radars, because it's like, nobody would download fucking 80 terabytes of... Like, I don't- I, I can't even, like, think of something to, like, even compare that to. Like, it, music? 80 terabytes of music? I can't even my, download, my like, My entire hard drive is barely music. a terabyte of data. Yeah. But yeah, I get, Dang what, it. I, I get what you're saying, Corey. It's pretty fucking messed up <laughs> shit. It is weird. <laughs> it is kind of cocaine. I just think it's funny. You think they like categorize it and like it's all like properly labeled, like prevent. <laughs> <laughs> when me and my friends were younger, we, when we discovered porn for the first time, we would categorize our porn and give it to each other. You organize see. shit like an autismo when you're that age. Yeah. Well, I mean, even then, I feel like my desk still looked like a mess. I never was really organized. It's only like actually what I did, Chris. I don't know if you did this, mm. but I put folders. Oh, fuck off. I put folders in like backup, uh, volume C, uh, monitor X or V or something like that, and yeah. then in that is a hidden folder <laughs> that's smart. I used to that's have what hidden I folders did. and shit too. That's usually what I did. It Dude. was fun. Although I don't know if I told this story. I I feel like I might have. Um, it's it's also kind of on topic because oh, we're boy. playing a Sonic game, but my dad, uh, when he, it's also kind of my dad's fault that I was even into the shit to begin with. Oops. But there's this thing <gasps> called uh, Pal Comics. Yeah. And I had downloaded a bunch of the comics, um, because I was gonna practice drawing like the porn, like I was gonna practice drawing the bodies and like learning anatomy and also jerking off to it later. <laughs> yeah. And. Oh. Uh, my dad had brought the computer to a, a guy, like an IT guy. And he confronted me about it, and he showed- he, the guy had fucking printed off the pictures, and there was like 10 pictures of these like, really bad- <laughs> printed off your porn? Yeah, what and like- loser. And he gave them to my dad, and my dad gave them to me. <laughs> and he's like, do you want to talk about this? I'm like, oh yeah, I downloaded that. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was expecting this like, long pep yeah, what talk. Yeah, what do you expect? But like... I smacked him with like, oh yeah, no, I downloaded that. I'm sorry, and he's like, oh, <laughs> don't do it again, and that was it, it was conversation over. Man, I remember the, one of the very first times I went on a porn spree when I was, like, pretty young, my mom and dad found a bunch of history. 
And Dude, they, they once were, you learn how to delete history, you're I didn't know going. about history. Like, like they fucking like either. kicked my feet out from underneath me. They're like, Chris, come into the kitchen, oh, right? No. And they these stories make me fucking. They cringe. sit me down and they're like, so we're we're noticing some weird looking things in the history here, and oh, it, it was no. very vague. All of the websites weren't called like man fucks woman. It was all like stuff like <laughs> it was just weird vague words. I can't even remember. But they're, but they're like, Chris, if we click on this, it's not going to be anything bad, right? And I was just like. Uh, no, no. <laughs> and then they were like, they they stopped and they paused for like five seconds. And it was my heart was pounding and sweating and it was like, okay. And I deleted it. I they didn't even click on it. I was like, oh, like, oh my like, god! Why did they not click on it just to fuck with me? I don't understand. I would have done it. What? I gotta tell you the first. Oh no, death chamber. All right, well it's time to turn my brain off. <laughs> this place fucking sucks. Okay, so I, I gotta tell this story. So the first time I found out about like history and that you can't delete it, you can delete it. Well, I did. I didn't know that uh, how you search through like the address bar, it like saves it permanently unless you do a certain thing. Yeah. So what Ooh. ended up happening was like, um, I was with my sister. We were just fucking around. I was actually. This is weird to even think it was with my sister, and <laughs> we. I was with my sister. And we were just like typing in things like poop and pee and shit in like uh, in the search engine, and then we we typed in like gay men and like fucking dicks and stuff. <laughs> and the first website is like cowboys and stuff, and we were like laughing, but it was like really like low quality like websites and shit, and it was like the kind of stuff you'd see on uh, NeoGaf and. Mm. I didn't know that the literal search term of gay men would be in the address <laughs> bar. <laughs> but my dad opened the fucking search term for Google. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he fucking. He called me and he's like, oh, get in here. <laughs> and he typed in Google and gay men appear. <laughs> The website with the gay cowboys like pulling the pants slightly down, and I'm like, oh shit. And I was like, fuck. And he's like, what is this? What's the meaning of this? And then, maybe since it was me and my sister, it's like, we didn't know. He's like, oh, you were both doing this? Mm. And he's like, oh, you looking for penises and shit? And it was, we were also laughing, so he's getting really pissed. Yeah. But oh my god. It, it's just so funny. You never realize that like a letter will be associated with the fucking search term. <laughs> Oh god, it was so funny. It's hilarious. Fucking, uh, did you ever have that moment when this. you were younger where you're like, Am I gay? And then you try it? Yeah, uh, I, I tried sticking stuff in my ass, I didn't like it. <laughs> I, it didn't work out. I didn't, I didn't mean like that. I smelled like watching I tried a, a bananas gay video. in like CD cases, it didn't work. <laughs> I tried sticking CD cases in your ass? Yeah, the ones with the rods that you put CDs <laughs> on. I used the trash bag as a condom, I think I said this in... <laughs> You know, <laughs> you guys don't even understand. You guys are lucky. You didn't realize. You guys actually had like a functioning internet as oh, a child. Oh no. Yeah, you you're. Uh, I'm since I'm a million years old. I didn't. I barely even had. I had a. I had a modem. I had to call up the phone line. Like no, a Jeff. As a kid, I had a modem. modem. I had a modem up until I was like my 13. My dad. My. You know. I oh. guess like. I don't know. I guess I was like curious about girls or whatever at a young age, and my. My dad was like, uh, "Can I restart this?" Sucks. Yeah, we went to like, what was it like? Playboy.com, and it's like it took. I swear, it took like five minutes to load one fucking image, and it just started like going like line by line. And then yeah. my dad just like winks at me. He's like, "Yeah, you just sit here. You check this out." And he leaves the room. What? But, but I'm just. I swear to God. How old were you? I was very young. That's I was. Awesome. That I was one. I was one year old. I was. Two. My old man set me down in his lap, made me watch porn. <laughs> I don't know. Old. I was like. <laughs> 12 or 13. Yeah, that's that's be, normal. Like and he's like, you yeah, yeah, you check that out. But it was like, I'm just sitting there. This he was just making just... sure you weren't gay. <laughs> well, I, I, I would, I would, plan. he'd probably, he probably would have been one of those guys, maybe mildly sad if I was, but you know, yeah. I don't yes. know. I don't know. I'm sure he would have been accepting either way. <laughs> <laughs> but dad, I don't did you have any, Did you have any terms like that, though? Whoa. Terms? 
Yeah, like, did you do anything like what I just did? Like, did you search for stuff without realizing? Did you like, shove bin liners up your ass? Um, <laughs> yeah, did you, did you search, cr put Crayola markers in your ass? <laughs> did you fill up bin liners with farts and let it's them loose? It's funny. My dad had this, um, yeah. I think he had this. I like how you just went He into, had like, this porn, I think, that was mm -hmm. on um, floppy disks. Oh, God. And they were they were almost like GIFs at that time. They but they, or like 64 uh, megabytes, right? No, it was like one meg or something. It, it was crazy. Like those literal black floppy disks. Yeah. They yeah. had like one point one megs or something it was Jeez. crazy but it was like a black and white animated gift which was like it, I, at the time it was like whoa this is like full motion video that's and, crazy you know he hid those discs i found them and i watched you, them <laughs> my uncle had a bunch of weird fucking porn magazines yeah. they, were, they were called bizarre and they they had both porn and gory pictures in them yeah really yeah that's fucking, creepy yeah fuck you uncle <laughs> <laughs> My dad's made me see weird shit. Like, I, I think I said this before, but yeah. like, my dad showed me like the faces of evil, um, yes. which is a really, really fucked up thing. It's in and there. Ooh. It's in here. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Sure looks like it. Um. So, okay, there we go. So he showed me the face of evil, and he's like, he's like, yeah, you're not gonna like this. Um, he's yeah. like, but I'll let you watch it. I'll see. Like, he, he was curious how much I could watch it. Like, he wasn't sure if I would avert my eyes, but <laughs> seeing animals get, like, fucking... Just, like, seeing that kind of shit was... Like, I couldn't look away. It's almost like, you know, when you see, like, a car accident, you're just, like, fascinated by, like, the idea of a car accident happening. Yeah. And your head can't turn away. So he was like, all right, yeah, you need to stop watching stuff. this. And he, and he, like, did that. But then he would like turn on things like Indiana Jones, the scene where the guy's face is melting off, <laughs> and he would turn it in slow motion and laugh as I fucking bawled my eyes off. And he just like keep like the fucking the guy's like face melting. Yeah. yeah. He would turn that up to fucking. Let me ask 11. you like YouTube, like what what was like traumatic shit you saw as like a little kid? Traumatic oh, shit. Wait, wait, yeah. Uh, not not traumatic, but uh, while we're still on the same subject, it could be movies or whatever. No, traumatic. one time I was in in the kitchen. The kitchen is where we used to always like hang out, do yeah. homework, watch TV, oh, and know. all this other shit. And uh, <clears throat> we'd always go to go in and have dinner. But one time my mom was making dinner, and I was just sitting there waiting for my dad to get home from mm -hmm. work. And my sister was like in her room or whatever. So it's just me and my mom. And, and then my dad walks in. And then right as he walked in, this show started, and it was called Euro Trash, mm -hmm. and it was like. I was like, oh, what's Euro Trash? I've never heard of this. And then it was just like, welcome to Euro Trash, where everything blah. As they start talking about really gross shit. Mm -hmm. But it's like, now let's begin. Here we have 40 naked men hanging out, <laughs> wrestling in the dirt. And it's like, and, and it, it talks about like their fucking dicks and stuff. And you can see their dicks, like, and they're all wrestling oh each other God. and flopping around in the mud. That's yeah. hilarious. And then, like, and then it's, it played a song that was like, 20 centimeters, and it's like talking about their dicks being 20 centimeters long and shit. Yeah. And my dad just walks in, he's like, WHAT THE FUCK IS GOING ON?! <laughs> it's like, it just came on! I don't know, it, it, it's on TV! And he was so fucking pissed off, he's like, DON'T YOU EVER WATCH THAT AGAIN! And I was like, I won't. Oh my god. It's like, what, it, like, I, it was just on fucking regular old TV, I don't under fucking understand. <gasps> Tom and Jerry is the best the game ever. The Tom is Michael okay? Michael sounds safe, Michael sounds ill, Michael sounds... Michael sounded a bit off that episode. Like, is he, is I, I, right? I'm actually concerned. I used to listen to podcasts with him and Ed Lally. He doesn't sound like he didn't know us. He sounds like he's different. <laughs> did you do podcasts without Dylan? Yeah, we did like little uh, little movie and TV review things. I didn't know that. I, I forgot it was Michael who did it. Like, it was a way he did it, but it was like a different brain. It was a new brain. Yeah, it's a, you're a new brain now. One it's life. a bug's life. <laughs> it's a bug. I'm a little what, mouse. Here's a question. What are the what are the like the funniest things you guys were as a kid? Like the like the hardest times you laughed. From, like, the hardest I ever laughed in my life was the mm -hmm. first time I heard Uncle Fucker. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, that was a moment for me too. I, honest um, to God, I think that like almost killed me. God, yeah. yeah. It would have been a South Park thing for me God. too. <laughs> Michael, what's yours? Um, God. I really don't know what something that was really funny. Like like you just remember like like that like that stupid ants thing for me. When I was just the like, Uncle Uncle Fucker was really funny to me. Um, oh, that, this wasn't like as a kid, but when I was in early high school, that, uh, <laughs> asshole song, I'm an asshole, you're an asshole, oh, that was like, that wait, was super edgy you, to you, me you when I was a Dennis kid. Leary, I used to have, yeah, yeah. Stole I, from Lucy K. You just on fucking sheathed an old fucking nostalgia, <laughs> I forgot that yeah. was a thing. You're an asshole, you're an asshole, asshole, yeah. That is so fucking weird. Did you know weird. he stole that entire song from, or the, like, the yeah, premise allegedly, of that? Allegedly, Lucy K says that he, uh, yeah, the, stole it from him. The allegation is that Lucy, that song was sold sold by Lucy K. But, um, that song used to be at the start of South Park episodes, I used to torrent. 
when I was that age. Not really from like I what Kazar and stuff. Yeah, and they were all real time files. I think I told this story. This is a really risque story to tell, but Risque. I remember I used to have live LimeWire. I used to have yeah. that too. No, but here's where the memory comes in. I had a 12 year old cousin when I had LimeWire. <laughs> And he was 12, and he was like, I want to see a 12-year-old, I want to see a girl my age get naked. No. So he typed in on his own free will, 12-year-old girl naked. Now, as, when, as like a 14-year-old, a 13-year-old, I was like, that's like, okay. Yeah. But, but had the FBI tracked yeah, exactly. that, yeah. my dad could have been fucking arrested because of my parents' house. <laughs> it was like my dad's work, fucking work and computer. And every pedophile would use that excuse, yes, too. So they'd be like, yes. yeah, yeah, sure, that's what everyone yes, says. Yes, yes, yes. This was literally like 15 years ago or whatever, but... Uh, Still, uh, yeah, that, that was my dad's work computer. He still didn't know at any point. Oh. <laughs> Never knew. Did you? Um, Napster was the first time I ever downloaded porn. Napster was like a little before me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my uh, Chris. Was, you would have had Napster, right? I did the same. I, age as I me. personally, I hated everything to do with that. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, Why was, you, you had a vendetta against Napster. I know. Do you know what it was? I thought uh, Napster and Jamster were the same thing, so I avoided it. <laughs> What's Jamster? I've it, never it, heard of Jamster in all my years. Jamster is the is that company that is makes the phone uh, app thing? Yes, yeah, the thing that makes all those like walkie? This is walkie yeah get walkie on your phone all you have to do is send fun to 99711 <laughs> walkie is so hilarious i, I thought they were the exact what? same thing you know, you know that with jam stories? No, I've never heard of that. They make these little dead little characters like dance on your fucking phone. There's one that's called Walkie. How does it go again, Chris? It's like, oh, he, 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 isn't he hilarious? There's like, a, there's like a nice old black lady. They're already over a little dancey elephant. And he's like, I... I don't remember how it goes. <laughs> so she goes, boom, 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 boom. Anyways, you download, you download this little thing, and you and you could get a little dancing creature on your phone, uh, I think. Oh, do you guys remember screensavers? Not screen screensavers, screen... Wallpapers? Well, what were they called, like, friends? They were little, little friends that would, like... Oh, yeah, like, bonds and shit. What was that? Screen something? <laughs> screen pals? Was no, it that? It's no, a no, desktop, no. virtual desktop friend? I don't know. Something like that, but they were little friends that would dance and sing in you. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I, I told uh, Zach before, I got a virus of one of those. <laughs> Viruses. No, but my one was really bad. I, I, I downloaded the fucking Bloodhound Gang, and they were all dressed up as little monkeys. They started kicking over my desktop icons and shit. I used to think a worm, like a desktop worm, like a computer worm, actually went around and ate your desktop <laughs> items, too, like as a real worm. Yeah. It doesn't do that, right? No, I, I think I just no, saw it in a cartoon. No, no, no. There's viruses that delete your fucking, files, but it's not a fucking... I thought it was like a little a, animated a, worm. It's not that... It, no, a guy does not code AI into a virus to act like a worm and go around eating like, your files. Take your little apple bites yeah, and like your a, fucking... Um, <laughs> num, num. That fucking thing of like a little bunch of little dancing guys as viruses is the funniest thing to me. <laughs> this is just your innocent. desktop being covered these little dancing guys. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. <laughs> this is you're singing. <laughs> You're singing to this whole drive being deleted. Hello, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Witch Hunt. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Witch Hunt. Let's play. Hey, everybody. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Everybody, quack your oysters. Get your get your pencils and peanuts out. Let's watch. I hear the heart beating. I mean, it's the wish. Guys, if you if you out there, you got a you got a heart monitor like me. Everybody, get, leave a thumbs up. Heart monitor. We need to find that stupid. Fucking bat! I fucking hate those dogs! Everybody out there, grab your pretzels and let's crunch on three. One, two, three, crunch your pretzels. I'm, I'm... <laughs> actually made a noise the second I said that. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like a can opening. It sounded like somebody biting a pretzel. Wow. Somebody crunching into a pretzel. Where the fuck do I go? I want to find the bat. Cut it, cut him open, cut him open! <laughs> I'm trying to find... Okay, so there's the foggy area. What's in there? All kinds of mysteries and surprises. Is it true there's a funny little dancing chipmunk in there? <laughs> just on a stump. <laughs> I wish there was one funny little thing. Just one tiny little thing. One little hamster. Actually, little no, that would actually ruin the entire thing. That would. Experience. I'd be pissed off. Are you kidding me? Yeah. If I saw a little dancing hamster on a stump. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> Fuck you. What did she say? I think she said the N word. Whoa, bleep that part out. <laughs> I heard a hard R. What happens when you kill that little werewolf? What does it give you? Does it give you little treasures? Why don't you fucking wait you're right, and find you know, out? You're right, you're Jesus. right, you're right, you're right. I want I want the audience to, to fucking drop their little carrot sticks and their celery sticks when they see what happens. <laughs> a little celery. Everyone dip, everyone dip your celery sticks and a piece of hummus right now. 
Everyone dip your steps in a place of hummus. Everyone, everyone, get out of here. Everyone, get out of here. Hummus and step, dip your celery sticks in right now. Guys, we're having a spooky night in, so please make sure to go out and buy some hummus. Everyone, buy some hummus and celery. Try not to spit out the celery when you see a ghost or a witch or a spider. <laughs> spider. If you see a spider, try not to go bleh. <laughs> I, was saying, I was thinking this game should have more uh, weird things. I love machine guns in this game. Um... They didn't even have machine guns yet. See, this is the best they got. No, no, what a, but yeah, but imagine you're like, uh, in a, like a little airplane, like a jet fighter. You can like drop little missiles everywhere. It would be cool if they thought of ideas that could have potentially worked, like, like maybe you could put a little paper airplane in your gun, shoot it up in the air to scare the monsters. I wish you could like, yeah, throw confetti as hard as you could. Yeah, like that kind of, like, just simple shit, you know? You had a little kazoo you could play Stuff them. that you could just, yeah, like stuff you can just throw in the game, make it a little more fun. I wish you could pull out a little trumpet and go, burr, burr, burr. Yeah, a little trumpet, like, that you put on the end of your gun when and you shoot it, would, and go, Yeah, it would go, burr, and the spider would stand up and start dancing if you played the right <laughs> song. I would love a mod for this game that just made it all ridiculous <laughs> like that. Um, please heal my wounds, priest dude. God, where are you? <laughs> heal my wounds! <laughs> We are within the radii. I wish there was a little fucking alien that was like <laughs> one inch tall, like the one from the Men in Black, the guy's head. <laughs> Stop. The Orion's belt guy. It would ruin the game. I wish he was no, I wish, no, I wish, no, I wish he was grabbing onto the tree, like holding it, like he was scared to fall. <laughs> and he was going. <laughs> <laughs> and if you help him down, he gives you a thousand coins and smiles. Every idea you have ruins the game. <laughs> no, it's a good idea. Look, developers, put a dancing hamster on a stump and a tree stump in the middle of the fog. Put a little alien holding onto the tree because he's scared. I'm not even kidding. If they had a little monkey swinging from tree to tree, like a little that would be fucking scary. That would actually scare me. Cause that would be really scary. That's like a real world thing. Where are you? Come on, I'm not afraid. Come on, out. I'm not afraid. You think I'm scared of you? You ever see that movie, uh, Fear of the Dark? No. I saw it when I was a little kid. It was like a horror movie for 12 year olds. There's, there's a little boy saying, I'm not scared of you! He literally, at the end of the movie, he goes, I'm not afraid! And then when he starts saying, I'm not afraid, all the monsters start dying. Die. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm not scared anymore! Come on, come get some! Come get me! Come I'll... on, I'm waiting! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. It sucks. Look, it's the goats. Get out of here! <laughs> Leave me alone. Get out of here! Don't come back! I'm not scared of you. Where? Oh, he's back this way. I want to see a movie where a kid goes, "I'm not scared of you. Come get me!" And he actually gets killed. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, the moral is, don't be stupid. And that would be a really fun cliche to break. I know. Has that ever been broken? I don't think it's. I don't. I've never seen it broken before. I don't think. Is that even a term to break a cliche? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know. If, it might have a more specific word, but I don't, I don't think that's wrong. Just builds you up because it's such a it's such a flat out cliche, and then it just ruins it. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'm Come not scared. Get me. Come on out. I'm not afraid. Has there ever been that one cliche where the kid's like, "Come on, get out of here. I don't want you anymore." But then the thing just dies. It just falls from over the kid dead. Doing that. It just turns to dust. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> that scream was great. Hello? Hello, is anybody up there? Is there oont fucking werewolf? His health is like over half gone now, you can at least fucking... I got no more. I found this little treasure. Open the treasure up! Oh. Look at it, it's a piece of cotton candy! <laughs> cotton candy? It is a piece of cotton candy, it reminds me of my childhood. It is a caramel apple. It is a caramel apple in the middle of the treasure chest. Oh, watch this. Oh, I need 50. Delete 50 doubloons. Doubloons. Hello. Oh. Oh. That's a hoy. That's a hoy, Peter. Thermostat brain implant, man. Every fucking father's got one. And she goes, How does he always know? How does he always know how to come in and find me? How does Peter Griffin always know how to find me? You always know, Meg. <laughs> Meg, your daddy's got a fucking implant in his mind. Oh, dad, dad, please, dad. Oh, my God. I want a gigantic creature in this game. Like a 90-foot-tall creature roaming in the background. That would be fucking stupid. <laughs> a 90-foot-tall fucking long ant. That's a keep humanoid working. figure, keep no? Keep working, keep working. It's got a fucking face. 
Oh! 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 Oh no! 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 Fuck! What the hell is that? So you, that's the stack. That, is that the tree? He's fucking oh, chasing he's following me. Following you. Oh shit! I thought he would stay put because he's a fucking tree. Oh dear. Oh my god. Oh. That is fuck. fucking scary. He's a fucking Lord of the Rings ant. What the that's hell? A giant. Well, that, that, <laughs> Well, there's my there's my satisfaction of seeing a gigantic. You fucking said you wanted a fucking giant yeah, lumbering no, creature. I did. I did. It, it worked. This is the spook house. Ooh, bleep that out. I would rather not kill a witch in a game and instead treat her with respect and ask her for consent. Um, I always do wonder, like, if witches were really real with the, like the green skin and the big noses. I would not hesitate to fucking kill one. Would they have conformed to society? No, they would still be flying around. I mean, maybe some would, but for the most part. They'd have evil beliefs, and I would never forgive them for that. <laughs> I'd have to kill them of my own accord. But what if they started doing nice things? Do you think the what? What do you think the weirdest thing the FBI would investigate? You? Like if I said I'm gonna kill every witch I find, uh, they might probably go for you just because. The, but witches the, are. I guess you. What you're arguing that they would think I would think somebody's a witch or something? Yeah, they might think you think that someone innocent <laughs> is a witch and that you're crazy, so you gotta be watched. Okay, what if what if what if I said two statements? What if I said part one, witches don't exist, but number two, if witches did exist, I would kill them. Um. What I guess the you could. Fuck. What is that? It's a little moss. Found a little tent. Oh, go inside. Ooh. Little, Ooh. Tre little treasures. Wow. But uh, sorry. What? Where? Where were we? If I put out a big statement, if I had, like a big press conference, and I said I'm gonna kill the first fucking green witch I see, but they don't exist. But if I found one green witch, I'd kill it, without any without any remorse or hesitation. <laughs> they could get you. Could they really do anything about that? I don't know. Because you're, uh, you're saying they don't exist, but if they did, you would kill them. Ew. Whoa! <laughs> That's your boss. That man owns you. I have pizzas. Mr. Aziz. Uh, pizzas. This guy's not a voice actor. Hurry and deliver these and don't deliver that guy's these. like the programmer or something. No I bet you anything. You can count on me. That's like a temporary voice track they thought they were going to replace. Zach, well, listen to this. You ready? I'm ready for, I'm ready for. start there. I'm going to start there. I fucking love this. Hey guys, please re please record yourself. Please, re everybody, please record your wife. Guys, everybody out there, record your wives giving birth th to this song. <laughs> record your cum spilling out. I shouldn't say that. That's just file. Oh, sh oh, fuck off. That was a nostalgia critic laugh. <laughs> that was like the nostalgia critic going crazy. What would you do if, if the nostalgia critic in a new video ate a fistful of maggots to, to, like, to, show, to show how crazy he was? Uh, I'd <laughs> he said, this movie's so bad! And he pulled out a bunch of maggots and started biting into him. That would be fucked up. He just has, <laughs> be, he, he has that, like that'd a That'd be jar. really funny. He's he has got a, a jar of maggots. Rot flies that he yeah. just. Ugh. Oh, that was fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chris, guess what? Let's, guys, let's make up a new language right now. You, you know how you have like uh, how those freaks like speak uh, Elvish, and they also speak like um, Klingon. You mean, Klingon. Yeah. Let's make up a new language called uh, Wing On. Wing On, right now. Ready? <laughs> guys, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I dare you. I, 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 I encourage everybody. If you're going to a convention, please speak in that fucking language. Yeah, when you're doing a panel, people are asking you about your TV show. <laughs> yeah, just if you go to Comic Con, please ask Brian Cranston that in a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brian Cranston. He's gonna grab. He's gonna clutch his chest. And security's gonna tackle you if you do that. <laughs> I did have a heart attack. <laughs> Oh, this is central Stan, fart, Stan dude. Lee's gonna collapse, his little cane's gonna break in half if you do that. The only trick to a Donald Trump thing is to make your mouth as- A lot of people try to make his mouth really tiny, mm -hmm. but he's got a big mouth when he says A's. Does he? So instead, instead he has to say and, he'll say and, and, I was walking around and I saw this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the, the, the thing that the Trump is, he gets winded by the end of every sentence because he's a big fat 72-year-old. <laughs> so instead of going, like, Stephen Colbert's one is like, 
I have Donald Trump and I love colluding with the Russians. Uh, but it's more like I was walking around today. I, wish, I, I still can't do it. Even though you tell me exactly how to do it, it it's, I was uh, it's your good, voice it's, just suits it's good, it. It's good to use your hands when you do it too. It's, but da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. I was walking around when I saw Crooked Hillary and <laughs> I saw what she did and she took a dump at the McDonald's bathroom. <laughs> it was so sick and so bad that I nearly puked. <laughs> Oh no, they're coming for her. Not exactly. No, 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 not exactly. I want to hug her so bad, like more than anything. I want to hold her hand genuinely. If she shit herself in that outfit, <laughs> her tits would fall out of that fucking thing so easily if she's flying around. Black cat, more like fat rat. More like fat tits. She was, she was for a fat tits. She goes, don't say that, stop. <laughs> I'm just, I was only kidding around, I was trying to make the- <laughs> I, You know, that's my thing I do, I, I like, you know, I joke, I, I make these, uh, these funny I'm jokes. I'm quirky though, I think, I thought, I thought, you know, I thought- <laughs> I love Spider-Man with that voice, with what? the fucking Chris Chanish voice. Aww. What are you doing? I'm Spider-Man. Well, he's the green guy, but he's flying, he's been, fl he's been flying around on his little uh, machine there with the, uh, Machine there. With the machine there, he's been bothering me with the, uh, <laughs> flying around with the green goblin and whatnot. <laughs> that's pretty good. You got the afflictions down. And I, I just, I wish, I wish men and women had the same rights so I could just curb stomp a bitch, you know? <laughs> I wish I could punch women, huh? <laughs> That's, all I, That's all I dream Spider about. Spider-Man caught on tape saying evil things. <laughs> it's just locker talk, it's just locker it's talk. locker room talk. What I said was locker room talk. <laughs> what she did was actions. <laughs> Has no! It, has anyone ever been punched so hard in the tit that, like, it exploded and the, the tit tissue came <laughs> if you, out? If you have a breast implant, I bet that's happened at least one where you, once where they've fucking exploded the breast implant. <laughs> That'd be like a good uh, Scary Movie 7 joke. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, uh, There is a scene where they stab her in the tit and he pulls out an implant. Yeah, he goes, what the hell? <laughs> what am I thinking of? What's the, uh... I'm forgetting his name. Did all those guys just die? Who's the, the scary movie guys? Who's the scary movie fucking two and a half men? Fucking that is Charlie, Charlie Sheen. Sheen. Yeah, I know. I didn't know. I didn't say his last name. Yeah, Charlie Sheen. New idea, guys. The Black Brothers who make the scary movie. He stabs <laughs> the girls. He stabs the girl in the breast in the opening scene with a big like uh, knife, like a seven inch long knife. They haven't made those movies since like Scary Movie. I gotta 3. say, movie, movie. What was they, it? Movie twenty three or whatever. Forty three. Yeah. Yes. That movie is one of the most like fascinatingly like. Did they make nightmare. that? Yeah. So. The you, Wayans you know Brothers? The, no, no, no. No, 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 no. You, you're, no. You're thinking of the two slobbering morons who made, like, epic movie, date movie, yeah, yeah, all those yeah. pieces of shit. Yeah, it's, so it's these two guys who are just, like, the Neanderthal, like, knuckle-dragging idiots. It's yeah. one of, it's it's such a fucking nightmare scenario, right? <laughs> like, you sign on to do a movie, like, 30 years ago before you fucking, uh... Well, they actually, when they signed on, am I wrong? I think I might be wrong with this, but they're the same guys who did a bunch of okay movies at the start of their careers, right? No, no, no. It's it's always two of the six writers who helped with. Yeah, yeah. that's what they're known as. The two of the six writers who helped with. Yeah, but all these actors fucking signed their contracts like 20 years beforehand. They definitely had an end to the industry somehow, and then they got lucky, and now they're just. I recall those two, those two little, those two gay brothers doing something sweet before. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way they did it on their own. I, no, I, no, you could be, you no could be right. You could be totally right. They are scary men. Uh, yeah, they terrify me. Imagine if you signed directors. a contract with them though, and they were like, "It's it's time to call in a favor," and you're what fucking they? Robert Downey Jr. They scare Jr. me because look, 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 no, no, it's it's one of the Farley brothers who the Farley brothers made. Uh, look, no, no, I thought so. They made. I was gonna say. I was gonna say that they made Dumb and Dumber and stuff. So the Farley brothers. Made fucking Dumb and Dumber, Shallow Hell, Made Myself and Irene. Oh, there's, we're thinking of someone else then, because the guys- There's something about Mary. No, one there's, of the- Peter Farley. No, he made okay stuff back no, in the th day. No, there's no way we're talking about the same guy. I'm talking about the two guys who are two of the six writers of Scary Movie. You're thinking about the guys who did Epic Movie. Yeah, yeah. a no, date movie. No, that that's why, that's the why they shocked me when it came out, because they're the fucking Farley brothers, I think. And the Starving Games, and March of- Farce of the Penguins. I'm gonna look it up, but I'm pretty sure... They made a March of the Penguins one? Yeah, Farce of the Penguins. So wow. here's the story, this is Why? right. Cause, la, epic, funny, haha. -ha. So, so this movie, by the way, which is... You're right, so the Farley Brothers made like Dumb and Dumber, Me, Myself, and Arena, they made a bunch of like... Movies that did okay, that were pretty liked, right? Yeah. Like, Dumb and Dumber's a good movie, I think, it's funny. It's Something funny. about I Mary Dumb was the best one on, on that list that you fucking... Right. I love Dumb but, and Dumber and Redder right, than that. But, right, so those movies came out in like the, what, mid to late 90s? Yeah. 
And that movie, movie, movie 43, came right fucking after that. Originally, it started in 2002 or three. Mm. So basically, that would be that would be like signing up with. Um, be like saying with John Hughes right after like the Breakfast like Breakfast Club or like uh, Place Raised and Obvious, and then he makes a movie after like Homo, uh, you know, like uh, the fucking Beethoven movies. Yeah, yeah, and you have to be in it because you signed a fucking exactly. contract as he was making those, ago. But as he was making those great movies, which is exactly what happened there. So that was a long and pointless. Uh, <laughs> so I, I just thought it was I just interesting. Think that it's one of the most like bafflingly like horrible things that. Like business wise, no. Half. That movie, that movie is genuinely like one of the worst things I've ever movies I've I ever wonder, seen. I wonder ever. if any studios saw that and started hedging their bets on like young actors that they thought were gonna go far. Had them like sign on to a movie early so that they could make this really like huge a blockbuster of those, in twenty I'll, I'll years. About to those people were pretty like whatever known when they signed up. Actually, I all think. the uh, there's huge actors in that movie too. Yeah. That's that's why it's like fascinating it's like yeah. because all these actors that didn't want any part of it signed a contract 15 years ago when they didn't really have careers and had to do it. Just yeah. planting a little bunch of seeds and then watching it grow and say, "Haha." Yeah, I wonder if any executives got ideas after that. <laughs> Fucking uh, but yeah, those those guys who write the scary movie. You movies. just gotta get the money. You don't gotta fuck that guy. By the way, I, th- I think this is such a pointless fucking thing. But I do think that the fourth one was made by them too, the same people. It wasn't made by the Waynes Brothers. It was not. You're sure? Absolutely sure. I know the fifth one was just new people completely. No, uh, it it was. It's the two guys. I'm telling you, these these two guys. <laughs> I, like, you sound I, like a fucking schizophrenic. It's, it's the two guys. I, I was swear. Te- no, I saw them. Those I said, guys made right me. In here. They they freak me out because there's no way that they they could have gotten <laughs> doing oh, that guys, shit. Oh ki- guys, they must have done some fucked up shit to get to that position. Guys, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Chris is the hairs on his arm are standing straight up right I now. I fucking hate it. He's fucking he's in shock right now. He's pointing at the wall and he's mouthing the words right there, right there. I remember when I went to see Scary Movie Four. I was so excited because I loved those first three scary? movies. And then you were actually scared of the movie. movie. I was no, it was now actually currently me, you're let me, let me, scared. Let me, let me look it up. Let me look it up. I was so, the prime demographic for that movie no, when it came too, out. And I fucking too. hated it. I literally yelped and laughed. I hollered. Scary <laughs> Movie <laughs> Film Franchise. Let's see. Usually there's a little section where it's, it says directed by... I think his by... name's like Jason Friedman or something. I don't know. Fuck it, I don't know. Wait, let's see. Films. Films. So, so the nice. first... Can you please look up who directed Epic Movie? Yeah. It's these... Yeah, Lila, you look at that. Yeah, I'm look sick of look, my brain's fucking turning to gravy. I looked at the director. Yeah, it, it's, it really is a fucking dark void. Epic movie. Now, Lila, it's legally... You're legally required to say lay Epic Movie. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's You're... the thing that pisses me off most about those movies is they literally buy costumes from like, like Jason party Friedberg stores. and that's Aaron it. Seltzer. Yeah, that's yeah, yo, it. Okay, also, those two. Jason Friedberg's image when you Google him is, I shit you not, the fucking nostalgia critic. What the hell? <laughs> what, what, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know go, why go that. To, go, let's go, go to his Wikipedia. See what else this fucking guy made. Yeah, everything bad in the world. Did he make date movie? I think he made, he date, made date movie, epic movie, all these it's, pieces. It's of like shit. a screenshot. Well, like, but did he make Meet the Spartans? Yes. It, it's 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 a unregistered hypercam two screenshot of the fucking nostalgia critic as the stock image for. <laughs> him no, why is that? that? That's literally the only thing you get. Whoa. Go to his actual Wikipedia page. I want to see just just rattle off. This is the well, guys editor. Play some some quick paced music and Lyle will list First off. of all, he doesn't have his own Wikipedia page. He's he's got shared billing with Aaron Seltzer. Okay, so they're a little duo here. Uh, are an American Canadian so film director rattle, and screenwriter. Rattle, rattle, rattle off all of his movies really quickly. Uh, we'll play scary movie. Spy Hard, Date Movie, Epic Movie, Meet the Spartans, Disaster Movie, <laughs> Vampires Suck, The Starving Games, Best Night Ever, and Super Fast. See? See? The career of spoof filmmaking began when Friedberg's father, who probably has some sort of money, I fucking knew showed it. Leslie Nielsen a script that his son had written to parody spy films. Literally, fucking literally. Knew it. Which resulted in 1996's Spy Hard. Isn't Spy Hunter a pretty okay movie as no. far as... No. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've, 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 never, I've never seen it before. <laughs> no, does uh, he, does it's he... probably the, the least bad out of all of them. <laughs> it literally says this exactly verbatim what you said earlier, Chris, where it says they were then credited as two of the film's six writers. I told you. Yeah. Does this guy have a Twitter account, Lyle? The duo have been strongly criticized for their style of humor. Wait, 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 their work wait, 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 has been wild, often wild, nominated wild, for wild. Golden Raspberry Awards. Does this guy have a Twitter account? That's what's really... <laughs> Dude, we're not going to go and harass yeah, this no, fucking no, 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 guy. I don't want to. I just want to see if he does. Uh, I'm not going to advocate it for him. <laughs> 
I just All right. whoa! I love when it does that. Cleaning the slate. Let's clean the slate on I this just fucking conversation. Just see if he's got a Twitter account. Uh, I googled it and nothing's coming up, so I, I don't think so. No, I was gonna say. He, may, may, he maybe shares it with the other guy. <laughs> Fucking knew he got in just because, just because. Papa money, Papa money, buy me a movie. Daddy, I wrote a script. Daddy, I want this script. Can you please? Well, yes, sir. <laughs> I'll buy you the biggest movie. Okay, you be you be Leslie Nielsen and Chris. You be the dad of that guy. And I'll be the guy. Okay. Okay. I don't remember daddy, how daddy, Leslie daddy, Nielsen daddy, sounds. Daddy, daddy, daddy. What is it, son? Daddy's I've, I've busy. Worked a, I've worked in the script, daddy. Oh, let's see. It's very see. funny. It's called Poop Hard, Daddy. Oh. It's I'm, called Poop Hard. It's going to be good. Look, it's me. Let's I'm, have Les a read. I'm Leslie Nielsen. You've bought me. You've purchased me. You oh, own yes. me contractually. You're the man I bought. Daddy. Yes. Daddy. <laughs> Please yes. let me go. Daddy, I've written a film called Poop Shit Diarrhea, Daddy. Well, well I, what do you think, Leslie? Do I, you like it? I really love it. I should maybe location scout by leaving the house. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason, you got your movie. Now what? <laughs> daddy, I spit up, Daddy. I spit up my babe, Daddy. Jason, you're like 35 years old. Like, <laughs> you were born in 1972, son. It's 1996. That's my boy. And that's my son spitting up on his, all over his script. <laughs> this is one of the new jokes. Unfortunately, daddy, it's I want one of the best modifications script called, that's been made to it. I want a script called Piss, Cub, Pee Pee, Shit, Fart, Turd. <laughs> Well, if we change it to an epic movie, but then maybe we can sell it. So that's actually very fucking funny. You are seriously <laughs> funny. I'm not kidding, dude. You are seriously a bro, a, a funny bro. Dude, give me, give me a bro fist, please, <laughs> right now, ASAP. <laughs> bro fist. It's uh, me, seventy-two-year-old Leslie Nielsen. Oh, Mister J, Mister J. Oh my pud pud! Ah yeah 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 yeah. The noise he makes when he's looking at her because <laughs> he's thinking of a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, "Rev up your heart, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Remember, he threw Harley Quinn out the window into the, the Harley garbage. By her vagina, no less. <laughs> then she said, I don't get the joke. Mr. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Punches her in the face. I, I'd like to lie more if he didn't talk and he just did that. <laughs> he should have like a, a failed clone called the Goker. I am the Goker. <laughs> the Goker. Chris, he smacks that's early. Melvin, brother of the Joker. <laughs> no, I can't What's your favorite that. Batman villain? Since I we're talking about spooks. I, I like the chucker. The up chucker. <laughs> He's just a hopeless guy in the dumpster just throwing things at Batman. <laughs> uh, I'll get you next time, chucker. There's Barnaby Brown. Uh, he he is a uh, he's an angry individual because because they all have messed up backgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, his parents would let him go to the aquarium, so he decided to turn into a fish person. Uh, he found a genie lamp and said, "You can make three wishes." And he said, "I only need one. Turn me into fish man," and they turned him into a fish. And he said, "Okay." I wish I wish I was not the fish. That was his catchphrase. He would always say that. Because life is pain for him the whole and time. Then, and then uh, he doesn't do anything to Batman. Batman just doesn't like him. <laughs> He's, like, He's like the fucking Toilinator. Don't ugly. bring up kids next door. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> he was in Punch Time Explosion. Oh, he, was he? Yes. Oh yeah, so was Dad. Or Father. What the fuck his name was. Blackface guy. Whoa. I mean... It's true! I mean... Yeah? Blackface, blackface, <laughs> blackface! Uh. Searching the iTunes store for face blank, face, face. What? Okay, <laughs> okay. face blank. <laughs> face blank! Don't Her life to... is complicated, no blank. face! Blank. <laughs> I can't even talk about it! Big blank! No mouth! I'm gonna watch no Melvin, face. brother of the Joker. Melvin, oh. Melvin, brother of the Joker, Melvin! Yeah, just extend that for ten minutes. <laughs> That's the episode. Why? Oh, hi, I am Melvin, the brother of the Joker. <laughs>
<laughs> this is a skit that I am doing of a character that I made up based on source material. You see, I am the opposite of the character that you're familiarized with, and that's the joke here that I am doing. Check this out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swimming's so fun. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> I found. Oh. Oh no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to swim. I'm so sorry. Stop. This really I'm your kill. Me to be you doing fucking killed me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Listen so here. sorry. Would you fuck Elvis Mago, Lyle? Would I fucking what? Would you fuck Elvis Mago? I don't know what that is. Elvis Mago is this, <laughs> this lady that uh, Zach and Adam, our friend, found online. And she's... she's how, I, how I found it was I went to PornMD, which by the way is a great website, because PornMD is a site that compiles all the porn sites. So you type, you type in like, uh, like shit can be out of ass or whatever, just... <laughs> Beautiful Japanese girl smiling and saying, I love you, whatever you want to type in, man. You type it in, and it, goes, it gives you, like, all you porn, porn up, all X videos, gives you everything. But so I went there, and I typed in, like, ugly, stupid bitch. I was like, I wonder if anybody's just <laughs> just made a really horrible title on this on any of these sites. And one of the titles was, like, stupid, fat, ugly bitch, Alma Smego, a sucking dick. And I was like, what? Her name is A-L-M-A-S-M-E-G-O, Alma Smego. That's her name. But like, th there's a bunch of great titles like, "What a surprise!" Alba Smego is sucking cock once again. <laughs> and then there's one called, <laughs> this is an ongoing series, yes, is what you're telling called, me. Called what fat, a surprise! <laughs> there's one called "Fat Blubbery Piece of Shit Alba Smego." <laughs> there's like all these titles. And no, you want to know the funny thing about that one? <laughs> we, we were on Porn MD and we were like, "Let's look up funny words." I typed in "blubbering" and she came up straight away after we found her. <laughs> she she fucking. Have you talked about the one you showed a couple days ago? Oh, the fucking the scary little alien? alien? The little alien guy? I've, I've talked about that before. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a there's a real f video of an alien on a porn website. <laughs> so they, Where these well, two lesbians are fucking each other, and then an alien walks in and, and gets his little peanut dick sucked, and he walks <laughs> out like he's, he's doesn't know what happened. Somebody made like a noise, and it, and he, he, it attracts it, his attention. Is it like framed like, oh, this just happened, and they rolled with it? Yeah, no, no, it, it's really creepy. It starts off, uh, like, it starts off in the pitch black of night, and you're, they're walking with a flashlight towards a scary mansion. Then it goes inside the mansion, and there's two lesbians just eat, eating each other out and stuff. And then, like, ten minutes go by, and then a weird little alien just walks in, and he starts, like, crawling under the bed like a weird little puppy would. And then he just starts <laughs> getting his dicks. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's he's literally, his his noises are like... <laughs> He's also he's what is he he's like a foot and a half tall, right? Yeah. He's def he's an alien who stole the skin of a human. Uh, he's got that little one strand of hair sticking up too. Yeah, he's like alfalfa. <laughs> did you just solve the puzzle? Yeah, I did. Alma Smego solves the puzzle. Alma Smego solves the puzzle to life. Rancid heart. fat bitch, Alma Smego Stupid. solves Uncharted 2 so, puzzle. So <laughs> is is the have you ever actually so guys, clicked the guys, videos, somebody, or were, were you just fucking, like, somebody, horrified somebody and... somebody please cut this part of the video out and upload it to Pornhub up and call, call it stupid fucking bitch Lyle, <laughs> Lyle Smego solves the puzzle? <laughs> oh, oh, no. type in Alba Smego, you find, like, great titles. One of the titles has the word, it says, like, it's called, like, Alba Smego is the, the fat piece of crap, and it says, dash, good pig. <laughs> so, have you good ever pig. clicked these, or do you just look at the titles? Uh, he clicked, watches them all the time. Yeah, we've, cl we've clicked a couple. Zach, okay, what? so, is, is the point that she's, like, ugly, is that, like, a fetish? Oh, that's the, yeah, yeah, that's what they're selling it yeah, as, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Zach. She's gigantically fat, yeah? What would you do if, uh... One week from now, Alma Smego tweets at you, says, I am she who is called Alma Smego. I want I, I want to work with you. <laughs> Would you give her an opportunity to do something for your video? If she had, like, a green screen or something, <laughs> I'd want her to... What would you let her walk in front of your uh, cartoon title and go, Subscribe! Subscribe! Thank problem. you very much! Alma Smego, you're telling you to subscribe! Has she ever talked before? I think so. I've Is never she... heard her voice. Maybe she hasn't talked. I think she's like the little alien kid. She kind of makes noises. Can we also talk about, um, after looking at Alma Smego, I remember there's a there's a Czech, a Czech porn star with oh, yes. massive ass tits. And she's that, you're going to have to narrow it down colossally. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I'm getting this right. One sec. 
Okay, so her name is Lucy Wilde, right? And uh, I was like, oh, she's so fucking hot. And I was looking up uh, pictures and videos of Lucy Wilde, right? And I was like, I wonder, does she have a subreddit? And I type in <laughs> Lucy Wilde into Reddit, and then the only subreddit for her specifically is Lucy Wilde is retarded. So people share videos and pictures of Lucy Wilde, and every title is like, Down Syndrome Girl Gets Railed, but she doesn't have any... <laughs> She doesn't have Down syndrome and she's not <laughs> retarded, but there's this really mean subreddit dedicated to her it's that like, everyone uses to jerk off to her. Hey, just look at the subreddit. This what? is uploaded. Uh, okay, so we go to the top post. It says, oh, "So a Lucy Wilde is yeah, retarded." Like the, the top post is dead-eyed montage video. <laughs> it's so Set fucking to Stewie's mean. Down syndrome girl. Hi, hi, retard fuckers. Let's reopen the discussion we were having. Is this a fan subreddit or a hate subreddit? <laughs> yeah, like, that's the thing. It's it's hard to know. <laughs> it's definitely both. Yeah, people jerking off are really strange. <laughs> yeah, you see really weird comments on porn. Well, why would sites. it be a hate subreddit? Like, what what did she do to deserve like hate? Nothing. <laughs> she just kind of looks a little bit sleepy sometimes. And that's okay. Yeah, she looks sleepy. That's it's okay to look sleepy. She should be called sleepy. sleepy Lady. Don't- <laughs> Sleepy what? Just because you look sleepy sometimes doesn't mean we don't want to see your tits. Lyle, would you say you've got to look your best tonight, you tubby little parasite? I would what never- I would fucking never say that. What the hell did you just say? It's, it's from the family guy song, Down Syndrome Girl. Oh. That's the first line. He called her tubby little parasite? Yeah, he said- no, he said it to Chris Griffin. Uh oh. Chris, do we say it to Chris? He says, you have to- gotta look your best tonight, you tubby little parasite. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first That's lyrics. Would you climb up this big golden knife already? To fuck Elvis Mago? Yeah, she's at the top. <laughs> well, uh, if you would've just <laughs> said that from the start, I'd be up there already. I love the little, uh, wind particles in the background, too. Um, yeah, the wind streaks um, are cool. Um, I'm sorry, but what- Excuse me, See, this is what happened to the Korok village when it sunk no. underwater. No. Their souls drowned and they were lost into the Deku tree. And then he spit out his, like, sap babies because he's asexual. And that's where they came from. Asexual. But that's. Just a theory. But that's just a theory. Okay. <laughs> Keep doing it. No, I can't. Old lady sharding, people falling over. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Link falling over, Link sharding! <laughs> Link sharding, Link falling that's over. A, that's a, that's a fails, like, dot com, where like, rem Do you remember? Do you remember when Failblock sold their thing to this, like, shitty, yes. like, executives and they didn't know what they were doing? Yes, I do. And the first video they made was like, uh, old lady sharding, babies falling over, and what did he have in his pants? Find out. Uh, in you epic me off guard. And fail blog. Episode baby's one. Sharding, baby's sharding. <laughs> baby's sharding. No, old lady sharding and baby's falling. No! Over. Damn it. Oh, Yahoo! These lols are off the charts. It was funny. Old lady sharding. Old lady sharding. Baby sharding. Old lady sharding. Baby <laughs> sharding. And what was sharding out of his pants? Find out. And fail blog. <laughs> God, okay, I will say waiting for this is fucking annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. But dude, that was like game is perfect. when Failblog did that. It's all gone now. They removed all of it, by the way. But it was really funny. <laughs> Everyone's sharding yet again. <laughs> yeah. Tune on in next week for it, more sharding it, it, it adventures. It would cut to an old person, and the old person would like go, "Please don't film me sharding." <laughs> and like, I just sharded, and then it cut to him. They and fall it's just over. Like, what are you stupid. supposed to do with these fucking guys? But navigate around them. That yeah. Also, flap your wings. Keep it's doing my it. Turn keep flapping so you waste. I got it. I got it. All right. Yee keep flapping. Yeah, keep flapping so you get your wings. Got in there. Okay. Link sharding. <laughs> Link sharding. Old lady is sharding on Link. And <laughs> what came out of his pants? Corey, you think, do you think Link recycles? No. Uh, you think he mixes it with Fanta and gulps it down? <laughs> I would have. I would have hope so. <laughs> he does. He doesn't have Fanta. When the camera's close up like that, it looks really. Oh, Dave. Cute. What's up? Tell your story. This is what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk yeah. about the story. Well, we're sailing the Grand Seas. I guess it's a good time. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of swimming. So we were, we were walking to Wawa and we were talking about just like perverted shit we did as kids and just like shit we like perverted shit we brought to school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I've told Corey this before, but there was a time where <laughs> my family got like a photocopier thing. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I've got a great idea. <laughs> 
So I took like a volume of Naruto and photocopied when he does sexy jutsu and turns into like a naked girl with clouds covering his tits and pussy. <laughs> And I was like, this is fucking amazing. And I, I went for crafts and arts. I got a hole puncher and I punched a hole and I took like some little string from my mom's like string thing. You're a fuck. And I wore it around my neck you and I was like, but this is naughty. And I tucked it into my shirt. E. And so I'd be at, like, there, I'd be sitting on the bus and kids would look at me and I'd look at them and I'd just pull it slightly out of my shirt and they'd go, <gasps> and I'd be like, that's amazing. I'd be, I'd be sitting in class and I'd be like, hey. And kids would be like, yeah. I'd pull it out and they'd be like, <gasps> <laughs> Sexy <Whoa. jutsu. laughs> and then like I was at lunch and I was at the cafeteria and I like pulled it out and this kid was like whoa that rocks you're gonna give that to me I was no like, he did it no he, he did <laughs> I was like no I'm not it, it's mine and then he like went out to the security guard he's like that guy's got a porn necklace on the security guard came with me he's like Dave yeah. do you have a porn necklace on I was like, no. And then he pulled the string out from around my neck and saw it. And he's like, we're going to the principal's office. Jesus Christ. And like, they called my parents and my parents came. And they're like, what is this? And I was like, uh, I found it. I found it on the ground. It's not, if I had told them it was from Naruto, I would have never been able to read it again. It would have ruined my life. It would have sucked. Dave, I, was, I was sweating bullets though. I was freaking the fuck out. Dave, when I had a, when I had an adult, like, picture, when I had my own adult picture to print off and use. Yeah. Um, I used to do my own way of laminating by using like long strips of invisible tape and <laughs> yeah. taping it over both sides. So it's indestructible. Yeah, so it's indestructible. <laughs> you should have considered that because then you could have like... Yeah, try to yank it away and rip it up. I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I already thought ahead, bitch. Two strings of tape. Two oh. things of scotch tape. But for me, um, oh. I was telling the story. Uh, I had actually drawn like a weird cartoon and video game orgy of characters fucking. <laughs> yeah. My friends were telling me what to draw, and okay, and my teacher got a hold of it because I threw it in the garbage, and I don't know how she got a hold of it, but she brought it to the principal, and the principal was like trying to make out what it was, and he tried to tell me like he was like, "What is it?" And I I'm just like, "Uh, it's just a party." Like I, I was trying to be as inconspicuous as possible, <laughs> yeah. and then he tried to call my parents. And have my parents see the picture, but my parents were working. So he's like, I'm, and they were like, can you send us a copy of it? And he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll print off a copy. Um, and then they ended up giving me the fucking copy and they were like, give that to your parents. And I was like, yes, sir. As like a good, like <laughs> Samaritan. But the second I got outside the door, I fucking tore it up <laughs> and threw it into the garbage. And I got away fucking scot-free. <laughs> oh, dude, nice. look who we found. I had a notebook that I used to draw stuff in, and I accidentally left it in computer class. This was in high school, um, and some people got a hold of it, and I was in my junior year, or, or no, maybe I was in my sophomore year, and the seniors got a hold of it, and they were showing everybody at, like, lunch, and, like, they were basically just passing it around, and they came up to me, and they're like, man, you're a freak, and they were, like, showing, like, <laughs> they, they said they, like, showed everybody, um... Which was really embarrassing because I was that was I was just like kind of drawing whatever I wanted. I don't know how many people out there in the world do just like draw like really fucked up stuff in a notebook. It wasn't like fucked up, but it was like porn. Just like drawing characters fucking and having their titties out. There's like some weird thing. Like you feel like you're getting away in like a way. You're getting away with like some really hardcore shit doing that in school. Yeah, it's fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, it it is like it is gets the adrenaline rushing if you're drawing that stuff. And then someone comes up to it, it's like, hey, you bro, a pencil. And you're like. Oh, fuck. <laughs> with fucking pain. Yeah. yeah. Chris talked about earlier about just like drawing like crazy violent shit in school. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I would just draw like characters exploding into blood all the time and I thought it was hilarious. But then like one time I drew a picture. It's just like a stick figure standing there with like a smile and underneath it just says, I eat babies. <laughs> and like the teachers found that in my desk. They're like, you're a sick fuck. <laughs> They're like, you've got, you've got serious fucking attention for this. Child, you're a sick fuck, child, child. You're a sick fuck, child. <laughs> Why would they say that, Dave? No, I don't know. They thought I was a sick fuck. What can I say? Uh, I would draw characters living on Suicide Island. In suicide. No, and nobody ever cared. <laughs> I never played Mario Kart, so I don't know. Wow, this is a really weird... <laughs> That's... It's, Holy, a, it's a weird little split world. A strange, a strange creature that's yes. never played Mario Kart. <laughs> strange anomaly. I mean, I've played Mario Kart, but I don't remember much of it because I used know. to play this. But I really, who the fuck are these I really two? Like the, you don't like recall the rendering this, on all these. This classic character. Oh, you could be a goblin! Zam and Zam. This is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. Are you telling me you're not going to play as the goblin? No. <laughs> that's, that's fucking hideous. You, you can be... 
Uh, you can play as Nitrous Oxide in Adventure Mode? What is he, like a Squidman? He's the bad guy. From which game? And he accelerates really fast. Uh, he's, fr he's from the original game. He's the bad guy. You can't play as him. Oh, of Crash Team Raising? Yeah. I'm just gonna be Crash, because he's kind of- Ooh. He's pretty well-rounded. Oh, you can be old blocky Crash? You can be fake-ass, not look like the PS1 Crash, because he never looked like that. <laughs> he's but, still just as expressive. But it's in your mind's eye, he looks like that. What the That's fuck? The, whoa. That's Shiba. Golden Crash. Is that Super Sonic Crash? God. Can, uh, wait, Chris. Yeah? Can, can Crash power up? Is uh, that something he's capable of doing? Does he have any sort of <laughs> emeralds, perhaps? He could become <laughs> Super Bandy. That's Nitrous Oxide's one. That's yeah, have a UFO. Got. Have a big green alien UFO. But, but I feel dirty. I feel like oh, I'm using their wheels. tools. Yeah. Ah, uh, you pussy. Fine. Be the goblin. Be the, be, be the stupid goblin that nobody knows. You be nitrous oxide fighting <laughs> in the story mode to beat nitrous oxide. Which one's sillier, Lyle? That one or that one? Uh, I like the, the other one. The little one is sillier. Oh, you but like I, the little one? I like that guy because he's like a human I mean, proportion goblin. I like goblin. his design better. He's more of a, a goblin. I hate these two. They're so fucking boring and stupid. I hate it. Think he, about that, like, crawling out of a hole. He's got the best turning in the game, like, though. When you think of Crash Bandicoot, that's the last fucking thing you'll think of. Goblins. Look at this. Yes, look at that! <laughs> But he's, that guy's got super fast. high speed, and the other guy's got full acceleration, or full turning. Oh, we can be Fake Crash later. Fake Crash? Oh, Fake Crash. His pinstripe. He looks great. Uh, I like that design. And Trophy, he looks disgusting. Looks like a DuckTales character Who the pinstripe. fuck?! <laughs> Who's Kronk? I like him. He's like a big, like, What the baboon. fuck are these guys?! He a, he's a like a mime. Gnome. Real veal- What?! Are these all new characters? Why would you waste I like him. Them. This is stupid. I like the Goblin. These are terrible. <laughs> Nash. Oh, he's alright. Like a street shark kind of thing. He's kind of alright. <laughs> Big Norm. <laughs> I guess sucks. Big Norm has some relation to the other, like, mimey looking character. I wanna be Fake Crash. Are those guys plot important? The mimes? I guess. I don't fucking know. So we could just be Nitrous Oxide? I don't understand. Why would you be him from the beginning? I thought that was the whole plot. Is Wait, that you're what? Maybe if you Crunch. play as him, it, it changes Wait, the context that like of the game. Was like a Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, he's from Wrath of Cortex, the worst one ever made. Oh man, this game sucks. <laughs> yeah. Please don't say that. Why is there no platform? Why is there no adventure? Where's the way all the textures? Where's the waypoints? Where's the waypoints? Where is the tower climbing? Scan no, the entire map! No, no, Chris, don't tell him the Chris. quick time events of the game. Chris, no, where's the quick time no, events? Chris, Chris, where's the crafting menu? No, Chris! Where is? Chris, what? What? Well, we were gonna talk about a, a story. A story time. I can store. Well, okay, so me and Dave were getting Duncan, right? Who are you dunking on, we bro? We were watching <laughs> America's Funniest Home Videos with Carlton. Yeah. And with Carlton. Yeah. You were and, sitting there. And we were just like, we were thinking like, we were watching these videos and they weren't funny at all. It was like old people sort of doing silly things. And we were trying to think of who is the audience for America's Funny Zone videos. Because I remember it being like very violent. Like yeah. people got hurt really bad on it those things. Funny. Yeah, they got yeah. mangled, their heads got split open. They yeah. got dragged around under fucking truck tires. Exactly. <laughs> spreading their pink intestines yeah. across and, the road. And now it's like they accidentally like spill an ice cream on their coat and they just look like, dang, I'm an idiot. Yeah. And like he has to make a joke. It is not anywhere as funny as it used to be. No, but Chris, I was saying it's so weird because it's like since everybody in the world has a camera now, whoa. Elephant. Oh. How, if everybody in the world has a camera now, how is America's Funniest Home Videos worse? It's it doesn't it's make way any worse. Sense. People should be capturing funny shit every day. They should be playing live leak footage live on That's America's Funniest Home Videos. To say, yeah. I think it's because in the in the age of the iPhone, everyone is glued to the iPhone, therefore less funny shit is happening. I also think the audience for uh, AFB... How come I'm seeing funny? I I'm seeing Twitter videos every day of, sh of stuff that should be on America's Funniest Home Videos, like people falling off balconies and yeah, stuff, and babies eating phones. Yeah, uh, AFB, the problem with <laughs> AFB is the general audience video. are like 60-year-old women who laugh at babies like doing silly <laughs> things. Yeah. We were saying it's funnier when a baby gets smacked with something Nerf-like, and they start bawling their fucking eyes out. <laughs> yeah, Where's that AFP? <laughs> Corey, when you smack uh, babies on <laughs> Nerf like they have dreams like this for the rest of their life. Good. Yeah, that this is what they see That's from that the point AFB on. That's the I would be fucking voting for. It would be like I would vote uh, for that. Live leaked it's video of a man dying in a car crash. Baby getting beat to death with a Nerf baby rifle. Baby beat. To, I don't know about that one. Well, not to death, but dude, that baby, baby sucking on the iPhone is life. the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever baby seen. Baby getting hit with a Nerf ball. The there baby you go. eating that phone is a good video. 
I like it. I like people putting the fucking dude door stuck, door stuck. <laughs> the baby like having its mouth animated. It's, it's just so confusing to me. Like at the park. What kind of? Because I was watching a video and th these these people. It was this woman and she had like a water bottle and this guy was gonna do a thing where he's gonna knock the water bottle like he's gonna pop the lid off go while to holding State. it. Oh no, go to Stonehenge. And, you, and the guy's gonna pop the cap off. Oh yeah, you're doing yeah, yeah. Of this. And she just they just knocked it on the ground and they started laughing and that was an entry. <laughs> How did something like that become an entry? I don't know. There were people who were who were running. They were riding tractors. And running into like wood and falling off and doing oh. like aerials oh. and shit. But they just like knocked a bottle over and were laughing. And it was awful. <laughs> it was terrible. It was one of the worst videos. Have and that was on national television. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Corey. National television's a fucking joke now. It's just it's just so confusing to me. I wish Not like this game. This game makes sense. I wish but TV AFB was like no this sense. game. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the ceiling. It's the logo for all that. Oh. Oh, okay, wait, wait, right. don't look at it. Look at it from the corner of your eye. Look back down. Look, it's the All That logo. I shit you not. You're so right. I know, thank you. All That! Dude, Keenan and Kel, dude. What the hell's down here? It's I the football fuckers. Soda. I love soccer. I love soda! Shut up, Kel. Please just quieten down a little bit. He said, damn, I love orange soda! Oh, Christ! Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he starts fucking throwing it all over the floor, slipping on it. <laughs> <laughs> Keenan was doing fucking nothing. He was sitting there quietly mopping the floor. Pretty good. Fuck my Adrian. No! There's a cave. Okay, I'll do it. Oh no. I don't like it. Brain blast! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Membrane blast. Blast my membrane! <laughs> oh my god. I don't okay. like the sound of that. That sounds violent. <laughs> I, I'm a virgin. <laughs> Make me bleed. Me too. <laughs> me, me too. We're going in, Goddard. <laughs> oh my god. Goddard is his condom. Condom. <laughs> he transforms and wraps himself. Jeez. And he barks. Back, back. Don't tell your parents, Jimmy. <laughs> what would Jimmy's dad even do if he found out about it? He'd say something funny about ducks. Yeah, you get him a little duck yeah, condom. Yeah, give him a little duck. A duck flavored condom. He say, Jimbo, did I ever tell you about pie? The little, <laughs> I stuck my dick in the pie? The little dead man. This is your father, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> is she dressed up as him? He's a handsome man. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, no. it's me, your father. No! Blah. You're supposed I to love me. You're gonna have to fuck me too, Jimmy. <laughs> Get Carl in here. We just are all over me. Oh. I want to join it too. Adrenaline. Uh, Adrenaline. Oh, okay. Fuck, fuck you, fuck. Oh, you're on fire. <laughs> what was with that episode where Homer's like, Taste my loins? Oh, he's like, The family jewel. Remember that? I, that rings a bell. What? Bart gets, keeps getting pushed down the hill in the trash can. Is that the episode? That's Bart the General. Bart the General. That episode the Family Joel. Yeah. Homer, old says, Homer. Boy, sample my loins. <laughs> the Family Jewel. The oh. Family Jewel. Old Bart. Homer said a lot of weird things. But Dad. No buts, Bart. The Family Jewel. You say boy. Bart. Boy. <laughs> boy. The first time, the first time somebody said frosty chocolate milkshakes, it wasn't even Homer. No, it wasn't. It was some other dad. Was it? Yeah, it was him wanting to be him. Let's go fuck some chocolate boxy <laughs> milkshakes. <laughs> some chocolate foxy milkshakes. <laughs> okay, day. <laughs> okay, day. Okay, day. <laughs> You're not the boy. <laughs> I knew yes, my I boy am. wasn't right. I like I like the idea of I tell you <laughs> what <laughs> I'll tell you <laughs> what I like the idea of Bobby Hill trying to replace Bart. This, this boy <laughs> is not correct. <laughs> he is flawed. <laughs> <laughs> this boy is flawed. <laughs> this boy does not meet up to my expectations. <laughs> this boy is a flawed jewel. I'll tell you. Okay, oh. father unit. <laughs> okay, not you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Chris, <laughs> I love this phenomenon you've created where people's family members <laughs> become like possessed or something, and they were they, they get replaced overnight. They <laughs> repulse their they repulse their loved ones. <laughs> they become flanderized. Haddle <laughs> 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 I got the that joy, pigs. joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Where? He goes, where? What? <laughs> 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 down in my heart, you say. That sounds like Whitey. <laughs> <laughs> I love Whitey. I'm the new Flanders. Whitey is so funny. <laughs> you can have my boys now, Whitey. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's, that's Fat Albert. <laughs> that's Tom Donald. <laughs> You're mixing every <laughs> voice. Every boy's voice. Every boy must play with a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo! Replace all footage with Lost Simpsons footage. Oh no, it's dead Bart! Ah! <laughs> boy! My boy! I love my boy! I am Marge! <laughs> <laughs> there it is, the funnies. The runny funnies. What were we saying? <laughs> You were saying the funnies would be the next the next corporate attempt at creating like, oh, yeah. the, the minions. <laughs> it would work if you pitch that to like DreamWorks. Or, no, pitch it to Illumination. The funnies. Oh fuck. Why do we... I have an idea for the new hit character. They're called the funnies. You wouldn't even need a design. You could just say that. <laughs> That name, it's brilliant! What was it in Straight reference to? The point. That name Why is brilliant. Why are we talking about the funnies? That name is brilliant. I would totally watch the funnies. You're stupid not to use it. <laughs> the funnies I'll fucking have. use it. Okay, we'll make the funnies. I had a cartoon I wanted to call the Stankos, but that's better. <laughs> the Stankos? Yeah. You gotta save that for Stanko the Clown. I know, but it's either Stankos or the Stanko the Clown, Stanko which- Stanko the Clown can be a character in the funnies. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay. Cause that's pretty much- yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's make the funnies. Yeah, we'll just release it sometime and people will be like, Oh, I thought they were kidding. <laughs> and then they watch it go, Oh, this isn't very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was better as a short conversation. The funnies is funny. <laughs> ah! Oh, That's pretty fucking hot. Expansion porn. Don't knock it till you try it, Chris. I don't try Chris it. talked about the thing. Does that mean he likes it? <laughs> Maybe I should draw it for him. Chris, yeah. Chris, you always talk about Vor. Has anybody ever drawn you Vor and sent it to you? Um, no. If they did, I wouldn't care. It would be funny. Please though. do it. I'm so horny. <laughs> <laughs> Please, for the love of God. Is that the mayor? Who's the mayor? From uh, Quickville? Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, I want to see are the children drawing me Vor. Why are the children <laughs> inflating? Why am I inside myself? <laughs> what does that this mean? is horny. This is horny. <laughs> All so, right. Chris, what does this story have to do with the with the with the guy with the skull faces? Uh, you defeat the guy of the skull. Sh fuck you! Just defeat the guy of the skull faces. Would you put that fire away? Yeah, stop holding fire near me. Defeat the guy of the fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fucking God. Proceed. Oh, Don't call it that. Lamb, lame. <laughs> Give me that controller. <laughs> Oh. No! <laughs> Let me call him funny. Our <laughs> legs did not work. <laughs> I'm gonna call him funny. His name is funny. <laughs> <laughs> now, go. What is your what? name? Funny, funny male young. Funny male young. Toast. Yeah, funny, funny male young. Funny male young. That, like that works my, for me. That's perfect. Sounds like Mighty Joe young. <laughs> Do we care what he looks like? You know, most of the time you wear a mask over your ugly mug anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Who cares? The only thing you do it is if you want to do close-ups of your face occasionally. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, right. let's make him funny real quick. Uh, Come on, Mick. You know that it's never really quick. It's for the thumbnail. What do I do? Does any of this matter? Uh, I do military veteran. No, you're- there you go. Okay. This is very- we're gonna do this real quick, okay? Make him very tiny. We'll make him cisgender. Okay. No. He's already cisgendered. Okay. Whoops. Make him Julian. <laughs> Stop breaking my shit. I threw a thing by accident. How do I change his fat head? Scale adjustment. Big head. Be. I think you can push the R1 or something yeah, to make can. it faster. Why would you ever make somebody's chest small? You got big legs, big arms. Big rims, big tames. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can we make him an engine? Now, Chris, don't be racist. Yeah, you can't say that, Don't Chris. be racist. Okay, we won't be racist, we'll make him white. <laughs> that dude is luminescent. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh my god! If you couldn't find your keys at night, just ask this guy to take his fucking <laughs> shirt off. He's a little. Pink. Oh man, make him bright pink. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look so hot. Oh no! Give him the big laugh lines. There we go. Oh my god! Damn, he's been laughing so hard he bruised his laugh lines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta age him up. Age? We make him very. <laughs> oh my god! What's happening? Whoa. Yeah. What's what? happening? It's a. What? No, age him up. Age him up. Fine, dude. This is like Willy Wonka. Yeah, you exactly. Came that's ex regard. exactly what I was thinking. There you go. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh my god, this man is scary. This man is beautiful. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, <laughs> this is starting to look like Orson Welles. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> I like the smile. <laughs> There's no money that's worth this. <laughs> Rosebud. I want to see fucking Orson Welles running Rosebud. around in a video game. We're doing it. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he looks like Megamind. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it crossing his eyes? <laughs> it's a broken anime face. <laughs> I can't see his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. It's like the oh, elephant go back, man, go back, dude. Go back. I like it when he's mad. Yeah, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Squidward now. <laughs> he's he's like a Gerald Scarf drawing. <laughs> he was a good man. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. How's that? That's pretty good. Uh, turn from the side. I want to see him from the side. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whoops! He's got a fold of skin going down his nose. It's like a Pokemon dinosaur with, like, armor over his face. I, I like his nose right now. I'm gonna keep it that way. Bigger cheeks. Bigger cheeks? Yeah. Like a hamster? There you go. That's it. Yeah, that's mm. what you wanted. He's pretty good. My eyes are flugly. <laughs> Purse's lips. It's not flugly, it's foogly. Was it foogly? Yes. I'm sorry. I like him with the... <laughs> 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 Whoa, look at him from the side? What's up with the- oh my god, they're like... Wow. Yeah, he's got face little, wings. Yeah, like face <laughs> wings, like pouches. It's Floops Fooglies! It's Benjamin Franklin! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I vote oh my for god. the previous- Yeah, that oh one. God. That's <laughs> perfect. I, I, that's great. I'm very happy white. with that. Make him white? Make him white hair. Well, <laughs> Red's pretty good too. <laughs> What if that was Sephiroth's brother? <laughs> <laughs> no one would never talk about him. Yeah, no one would. That's why they would never talk about. I him. never talk about my brother. Funny, he's Ooh. dead to me. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Oh, perfect. You've done a good job, Chris. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> breaking his glasses <laughs> to fit his dumb head. <laughs> They're heart shaped. Oh, look at that one. I kind of like the sunglasses. You want to go with that? Go yeah. with the little tiny. They almost look like heart shaped sunglasses. <laughs> What? The little tiny sunglasses? Yeah. Those ones? Yeah. The, no, that, yeah, that, that one. There you go. He's an old timey Contober. <laughs> hey, it's Tana. My soaps. My, my sauna. Your soaps? Let's take Tana to the sauna. Show no mow my lawn. <laughs> uh. Okay, Chris, so if, if you, the, the things you find uh, physically attractive about women is just. Fuck. Woman. Fuck. <laughs> woman. I, don't, I didn't mean to say it that way. We, uh, it's fine. I say I say it weird. Does uh, so does Tana work for you? Would you just be like, oh, she's good. I want to fuck. Yeah, I love her orange flaps. <laughs> fuck. I'm what just... if Nomi Malone was Tana? I'd fuck her. <laughs> if she cosplayed as Tana. Okay, what? If she cosplayed as Tana? I feel like that would kind of ruin her look. Listen, Tana's not a slut no more. She punched the bad guys in the opening. She was never a slut. <laughs> I don't think that was ever a part of no, her character. No, but, but everyone acted like that's what it was. Because she had big boobs. She had the big fat the crush, Tata. They they say that about Lara oh Croft, too. Cause, uh, Did they say she's a slut? Yeah, because her tea towels are so big, except... That was like a last second decision. They made it... Well, that, and it, that doesn't impact her personality. No. But it's they. Granted, I've never played one of those games. I don't know they made what kind they of made her her boobos big by mistake, and they thought it was funny, so they kept it in. Really? Yeah. They accidentally made them too large and thought it looked funny. But uh, now now she goes from uh doing handstands and cartwheels, uh shooting at yetis to uh 
crying and doubling over in pain. <laughs> but now she's realistic. That's more betterer. Betterer for the who? For you. For me, the gaming public. What? Now I relate. I like Lara Croft. I uh, just want to relate with the fictional media. Her redesign really helped me, uh... Ooh, uh. When I play a video game, I don't want to play it for any sort of escapism or to have fun in any way or entertainment. I, I want to feel bad 24-7 <laughs> every day of my life. I want to be reminded of everything that's harsh in the world. Please drag all politics into games, too. Just bring it all in. Give me everything. Everything I don't want to hear about, please. What happened to these turtles? They died. Oh my god. Is this like the Armenian Genocide? Are we denying the turtle genocide now, too? Gamergate killed them. <laughs> <laughs> what Game happened to all of them? <laughs> Gamergate harassed them into submission. Oh no. How long ago was that? Like three years ago? Yeah. People are still blaming it for shit. No one fucking cares. Yeah. And now Brianna Wu's talking about throwing moon rocks down on Earth. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> 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 fucking crazy bitch. Chris. I mean, crazy retard. Chris! What? <laughs> That's not- it's not gender specific. Oh no. It's gonna be slipping and sliding. That lady has the biggest Adam's apple I've ever seen. Chris! What? Chris! What? Chris! If a lady came out flopping her dick Robbie, around in her hand, what? and you, you were like, quit flopping your dick around. Dick. Fucking. Obviously, capitalism's not fucking perfect, but what's better? You're getting a bunch of comments now. <laughs> I would like to know. It, Obvi I mean, obviously, people, three three Let's Player fuckheads yes, are not gonna no, have the answer. No. Unfortunately. I've just never heard the, the answer to it, that's all. You wanna do a Pokemon Let's or a role play? I think we are doing a Pokemon Let's Hello, Play. Hello, I am a Pokemon. No. I like to uh, run circles around s b birds. Is this a 2001 Flash cartoon? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. What, what would they Julian, say in one? Julian, I, I'm uh, Ash Ketchum. I'm going to catch all that Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ding dong. You be Ash Ketchum. Okay. I'll be Misty. Julian, you are Brock. I'm Brock. Hi, Brock. I want to be Brock. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Let's that. trade. I want to be Brock. Okay, you be Brock. Julian, Julian can do a better Ash than I can. Okay, Julian, you're Ash. I'm Misty. I'm Ash. I like to eat food that my mother makes for me. Frying pan. Drying pan. Frying pan. Drying pan. <laughs> And I'm Misty, champion of water and other I'm gonna such. be a Pokemon man. Donut! Sandwich! <laughs> Wait that, a minute, that, are you happen. fucking a wo two women at once? I'm doing it just like you told me. I can't me. do that, they beat me up when the I do that. Pokemon time is 9.03. <laughs> <laughs> In Pokemon world, who, the who, time who, is always 9.03. Who, who knew we were role-playing a Pokemon Sea Watch? <laughs> why is it always 9.03? <laughs> Because all the, po the weird, there's weird Pokemon shenanigans always happening. There's probably a time Pokemon. What does that even mean? The Pokemon time? Why does he say that? <laughs> yeah, it means that there's a distinction between regular time and Pokemon time. Pokemon time is curved. It's can, a little different. Can we do a situation where I am Misty, Ding Dong is Brock, uh -huh. Julian's Ash, but I am Misty with Ash, and we are going into the Pewter City Gym for the first time. I've never been to the Pewter City Gym before. I Ash, hope you that need to fight my Pokemon Brock. are the right type <laughs> as to have a type advantage. You broke her bike. Uh, you broke her bike. Enable me you to broke her beat bike. Brock, you the broke her gym bike. Gym leader oh, bike. of this gym. Oh, I'm so wet because I'm the water. Po Trainer. I get it. That's, <laughs> a, that's a good Pokemon joke. I'm coming with you guys. Thanks for doing Pokemon jokes I'm for Rock my Hart. benefit. Do you Misty? get it? Are we friends now? Is this how you date? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for doing Pokemon jokes for me. <laughs> I know you that? know that Pokemon means a lot to me, Misty, so I appreciate <laughs> You making a joke just for my Pokemon benefit. Pokemon humor is my only kind of humor. <laughs> I don't understand any other joke. What about puns? Okay, that's pretty cool. I got hard like Metapod. <laughs> okay, we're not going to make puns anymore. <laughs>
Well, Metapod kind of looks like a penis. <laughs> stop Have you it. ever thought There's about it before? Two I can go back. Kitchens. We're still in pewter. I can turn around. <laughs> two ashes, one mis- one bra. One family. I, why, are there, why, why are there two ashes? What did I sign up for? Trust why am I here? <laughs> I don't know you. I can't trust you. They would have said that on the show. <laughs> I am retired. What? <laughs> what? You're like the Fat Albert episode? Where he says, I am <laughs> He doesn't say it. He says, he may be retarded here, but he's not retarded here. <laughs> he points to his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Does he say that in the episode? Bill Cosby says, like, you don't even fuck Fat Albert. <laughs> Look that up. What he was says, it? What? What does he say? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, it's in the same episode. What? I swear. What Look it, it Look up. Uh, there we go. That's okay. My phone's literally on one percent. Ah, fuck. Let me get my phone. He said, "Wanna be a hero?" He kid. says, "Like he couldn't even fuck Fat Albert." Who couldn't? Because Bill's like talking. He's like, whatever the kid's name was. Like, oh, oh poor, poor, poor Billy. He couldn't even fuck Fat Albert. Did he really say that? And it just what sounds like about? that's the only thing he could be saying. What do you mean, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Fat Albert. Bill I don't Cosby said that. remember this at all. Okay, let me pull my phone. Is this in like bonus material you're talking no, about, or he's in the that show? Well, Bill sitting on his chair talking about the kid. He said something that could be this. Like, while he oh. while he was like hammering a bird cage or something, his Bill <laughs> is losing his fucking mind every time they cut back to him. <laughs> I love that Bill's always losing his mind. They say here here have a bird cage, play with it, Bill, and you see him smelling it. Why is and he cuts back. tossing the? Things anymore? Is this court case still going on? What happened? He had a computer virus. Remember? I didn't rape those people. It was my computer virus. <laughs> Bill, you're not Fat Albert. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do if Bill like, like, just turned into Fat Albert? Like he aged, morphed into him? Aged like how old is Fat Albert? They're they're uh, they're about to they're about to say that he's guilty, and he goes one second. <laughs> he Look, it's me, Fat Albert. Everyone loves me. There we go. <laughs> I didn't do it. It was Bill. It was Bill. We know it's you, Bill. Come like on out it, of there. His alternate personality <laughs> takes over. Is that what you're saying? I can't. I injected myself with the T virus. You <laughs> he hear his muffled voice aside. Did you get him to leave? <laughs> They're not having it, Bill. What if Bill? Injected himself with the T virus. He started morphing slowly into fat. He Albert. throws his sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. see, I'm not crazy. Listen to this. There's a difference between pulling your weight and throwing it around, but this time we can't blame Fat Albert for throwing it. I mean, Dennis never had much chance fucking Fat Albert. Anyway. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the this fuck? is the same episode. Fucking Fat Albert, huh? Dennis didn't have much of a chance fucking Fat Albert. <laughs> Why is this a, a running thing? I have no idea. Kids shows to say fuck straight if, out. By the way, if anyone wants the perfect Fat Albert episode, please watch the mainstream. Yeah. I don't know why it's called that. That's the name of the episode. Please watch now it. Now you're gonna see people reviewing it on YouTube, and it's gonna be ruined. Ooh. It doesn't sound like anything else. Yeah. What could he be saying? Say it one more time. What the fuck? That's clearly. How could how could that be taken as anything else? I don't know how he do that. Never had any chance, fucking Fat Albert. Fucking. fucking. Funking? Funking. Funking Fat Albert. Is that a black thing to say? <laughs> I don't know. Bill, you're one of those, right? <laughs> I think so. Ah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 70s. You, you... We're the champs! Uh, we are the <laughs> champions, my friend. And we work it fast. Stop! Until the end. Did you ever hear the Disney cover version where, no. it's, where it's Mickey and friends singing that song? And it's, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> that will keep on vibing. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's awful. <laughs> Can we all do it? In, let, let's all do it in unison. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, this sounds great. <laughs> We're not doing it anymore, Chris. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> <laughs> he's, Chris, you're not, oh no, you have it. You have he's, it. He's being spun around. <laughs> <laughs> That's very pertinent because we're playing Kingdom Hearts. Uh, no time for losers. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, tell tell me the the last thing you dreamt about. Okay, there we go. I dreamt I was in a store. It was a big. Dinosaur. No, it was a big Asian guy. Like, and he wasn't because a big it was, guy, huh? It wasn't because of Big Chang. It was before that. <laughs> a big guy, like he was giant, or like no, he was fat. he was fat. Okay. No one knows who Big Chang is yet. He was a big fat Asian man or Asian kid, and he was like, he's working at the cashier, and everyone was making fun of him. <laughs> that's all I remember. <laughs> I dreamt last night that uh, there we go. That's what it is. I dreamt last night that Family Guy. Seth MacFarlane wanted the, the show to just end already. Yeah. And uh, the second to last episode of the season, it was just Peter Griffin. He's he doesn't look like Peter Griffin anymore. He spiked his hair up and he was wearing a trench coat. <laughs> and he just went into a mall and he started shooting everybody for twenty minutes. That was the whole episode. <laughs> and then the episode after that, it was like a creepy pasta, and it was just a close up of his face with his eyes bleeding, and he was screaming. <laughs> and it was just that for twenty straight minutes. And I remember I was having a conversation with somebody, and they said like, "Family Guy could be funny sometimes." I said, "Did you see the Did you see the last episode of it?" And we watched it together, and they're just like, "Is this Is this it?" <laughs> no one was scared by it. Everyone was just really bored with it. <laughs> well, yeah. Why would you be scared by it? Because he was screaming. Yeah. So it's very spooky. Because it, it's very abrupt when it first starts, and then it goes for twenty minutes. Like anyone. Julian, you guys having I fun you, watching me play this game? I thought you were in love with Mario Sunshine. I'm in love with Mario. Is, I'm in is, love with my Mario girlfriend. Is there anything sexy about Mario? Probably no. to some people. Not to me. Remember when they tried to make him look really cool for Mario Strikers? Did no. they? They gave him very angry expressions and uh... I love murdering. He would always say that. <laughs> I love murdering. <laughs> That's average Maria. Does she love murdering? No, Mario's in it, and he says, I like to fucking kill people who are weaker and more insignificant than I am. I guess that's true. It's his toxic masculinity. Which Mario is clearly uh, the biggest example of. Oh, it's in there. I see it. Well... He, Fucking Christ, how are you supposed to get in there? Julian, he saves a princess. Yeah, think about that one. Can I... I know the plot to Mario was very relevant to you as you were, you know, just playing those games. When I jump on the Koopa, I'm always thinking about the pussy I'm gonna get. Oh. Mario. I mean, clearly somebody is, oh. otherwise they wouldn't do so many fucking webcomics about it. That's them... That, that's the Andy one. That's when he makes the map of her eyes. <laughs> Do you remember that one, Chris? Andy? There was a guy obsessed with Princess Peach, and he made a bunch of webcomics of himself dating her. Bathing her? Yeah, bathing Dating! Her. Oh. I he did the- oh, Fucking shit, I'm fucked up again. He- There's the one infamous example where he, he, it's the comic that she comes over and says, Hey, Andy, sweetie. What's that you're drawing? Oh, it says, I'm making a map. And she says, a map? But that's a picture of my eyes? And, uh, there's, there's the animated version of it where she screams really loud at the end of it that everyone really likes. <laughs> Is there? I've never seen I've never that. heard of these. Can I watch it? Yeah, look it up right now and play it. Oh, no. Is that what it looks like? Yeah, that's what the comic looks hey, like. Andy, sweetie. Hmm? What's that you're drawing? I'm making a map. Close-up of my eyes? That's exactly right, Pete. I'm having your eyes, because I, I can find myself getting lost in them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Sephiroth did the dance? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh my god. <laughs> don't, pr don't bring up the lead street, boys. I love them. Wait, really? No, I don't. They did that? Yeah. 
That was in their video. You don't remember the, that? No, I don't remember that. In the... Um, don't get me wrong, I love the Elite Street Boys. Remember, they say, Sefi's mom's got it going on. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, oh. I'm in love with my cosplay girlfriend. She's a slut and she's better than you. Isn't what? that actually how it goes? No. Sh <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see her, she's always somebody new. Like, I know they don't say slut, but isn't it actually yeah, she's better it. than you? Yeah, and then there's the other one. Met her at GameStop, Hello Kitty tank top. Fawning over Zach Fair. <laughs> Those fuckers. Isn't he like 40? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sure looks like Leave him alone. He's like a 40 year old man with a Sephiroth wig. Oh my god, why don't games do shit like this? Oh, shit. <laughs> why? Because people think it's too weird. Oh, I farted. Remember when fucking Vice City did remote control helicopters? That was fun. It was hard. That's why they won't do it, Chris. But it was fun. Because people go, I don't know how to control two things at once! <sighs> it's so cool. Which one am I? The man or the little tiny car? <laughs> That's pretty much it, really. Spike. 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 Bye. How many did I say? Konnichiwa. <laughs> Alright, Konnichiwa. This is Battle Royale. She, she say, I have super kawaii. <laughs> she says, look, I am a green She's person. She's a cosplay girlfriend, Julian. Yeah. <laughs> One time I tweeted, I'm in love with my cosplay girlfriend, and a bunch of people called me a fag. <laughs> <laughs> no one got the joke. Including the lead street boys. <laughs> <laughs> like, no! Yeah. Do you guys want to start a boy band? Because yeah, you yeah. always see the missing item slot. Mm -hmm. We'll call it, it Chris, and the, Chris and the Onis. <laughs> no. Chris and the Funny Balonis. Let's call it something awful. That's a website. No, like, like let's call it like... X2 chocolate. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, Nothing. here, we'll, we'll do, uh, nerd music. It'll be called, uh, LOL Kawaii. <laughs> Nobody says kawaii We call it the XD gang. Well, Julian, that's part of what you have to do is make outdated references. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Hello, kitty. We, we could be the Chibi Boys. <laughs> the Chibi Boys. The, what was the HR, HR people, was it? Horribly deformed HD people. Whoa, the Lead Street Boys is a comic? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Dude. Chris, you sounded so like actually, like actually excited. This is what you I'm talking about. You guys can see, but Chris's eyes got really big. Ah, uh, it's seven years old. But did you ever pay money for the Control Delete animated series? Yeah. Is that a thing? <laughs> it sure is. Oh. <laughs> and each episode costs money. She's so kawaii lyrics, dude. Met her at GameStop, Hello Kitty tank top, bunny ears and pink hair, fawning over Zack Fair. Shooting Duck Hunt, Lolita, and Steampunk. Says she likes to RP, always rolls a 20. Gravitation, the organization. Miyazaki movies, hair hair Yuki. So I wish she would make me her bishy. I'm loveless till that day emo like Sasuke. <laughs> she's so cool. You're, you're right, you're gonna be loveless. <laughs> she says, She's on Gaia, her name is Aya. Cosplay model photos, chibi Miyabotos. What? Writing fanfic, planning her Japan trip. Ramen and Paki, Ramun and Saki. She smashes her face and crawls into a gutter. This is making me actually upset. <laughs> Pussy explodes from anus, unlike no other. <laughs> oh, I remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> Name an anime. Bong Bongo f flies. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even finish. Ninja High School. Ninja Flip. Oh my Academy. god, that poor child. <laughs> it was a trap. He's getting funneled <gasps> into the incinerator. <laughs> God, I just want to circumcise someone. <laughs> You're in a cage package with this monkey with bombs in his backpack. Okay, Chris. Uh, what will be our first uh, anime nerd song? Um, um. Okay, let's make it about. Uh, let's make it about One Punch Man. That's topical. Uh, Barra titties. <laughs> Fucking Julian. <laughs> Let's make, daddy's okay, let's Julian. make it about something that will right. be forever relevant. Akira, okay? <laughs> let's call our song, uh, Red Bike Bro. <laughs> That's awful. Let's call our song, uh, I'm a f- <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That's the spicy up. 
crawling like a maggot? <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember Akira? <laughs> crawling? Did you say crawling like a maggot? Like a maggot. Oh, no, like, like a, a maggot. maggot. Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. I am trapped inside. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> People being trapped at their own house is the funniest <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> Those trees the, are very shit looking. I was gonna say, look at the mountain in the back and the repeating texture. Yes, I, I did see it. This is a very ugly, very, very ugly. At least it looks nicer now. Yeah. It's cause, cause you colors. got the blue yeah. of the sky and the red of the blood. It makes for hot. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the ground. I didn't even bother listening. You never listened. That you were talking about murder. I keep crying for help in these interviews about the game and nobody listens. <laughs> when I said our blood and sweat and tears went into this, I meant it. What if instead of Pride Rock, it is called Fun Rock? It's called Help Me Save Me Rock. <laughs> we're dying making Fluke this is game a madman help us save us. What does a madman help us save us? <laughs> This shit's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's what a kid said in the theater. During, wow! the, during that exact scene. This is the coolest part! This is so fucking cool. What would you... And he was like a really cool kid. <laughs> All what the if, kids at school respect him. What if you found, uh... What if you went into the deep jungles of the Congo? And you found a human being that has never seen civilization except for his little hut people? And then you trapped him in a room with a 60-inch well, screen. I can tell you this already. You <laughs> showed him Spy Kids. I don't think I would have done that part. But what if you you had on loop flippers around, man? Oh my god! Flippers around, man. He'd probably he'd the only, go insane. Well, he would. Learn, he'd learn how to say it. Flippers around, man. Help us, save us. This poor poor child. No, it's a 60-year-old man. Oh, I don't know why I thought a child. <laughs> old man's funnier. <laughs> he, there's no him learning anything new. You'll show it to him, and it will scare him, and he won't learn from it. It scared me! <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine seeing that when you can't even exactly. comprehend the television? Exactly! So cool. I'd probably think it was like a portal to fucking, like, some kind of nightmare torture dimension. <laughs> nightmare torture hell. Can you turn him into a, a fluid? Mmm... I don't think that's, uh... Well, maybe with plastic surgery. This is just becoming real life now. This is just becoming just torturing someone for fun now. Well, <laughs> That's it, what it was it, from it the beginning. It already was that. Yeah, but, like, it's not causing no, you him- don't- listen, you do not get to turn this around It's not now, causing right? him like, pain! Well, now that something came up that wasn't on It's causing him yet. psychological distress. But if, if- if you literally, like, mutilate his body to make him look like a fool, <laughs> 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 That's a different story. Well, yes, that, I didn't advocate Well, Chris, that. what if you- what if you destroyed him psychologically so now he wants to become one? Oh well, my then god. You, then you make him one, and he's happy now. What well, Chris, you did that to him, though. You destroyed him mentally. But he's happy. <laughs> That's not him truly thinking that. I helped him. He used to worry about getting bit you by snakes. You didn't help him. You trapped now him in a room with that for like a year, like a so now he thinks it's a flugly. Yeah. That's not helping him. <laughs> it, it, we'll, That's corrupting we'll, him. We'll put him in a care home for flugly men. <laughs> <laughs> because you've done this After before. he gets the surgery, yeah. they'll try to undo it over the course of ten years. <laughs> flugly men. He'll be in fluidly therapy, and he'll start recovering. Simba! They probably had to put you through physical therapy. We truly did help and save him. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, Muriel! <laughs> oh, Muriel! Muriel! The things I do for love! <laughs> that was a well-placed laugh track. <laughs> oh! Stupid fucking dog, why you pink for? Oh, the things I do for love. <laughs> oh, stupid fucking ugly retard dog. He doesn't say that. <laughs> Bad dog. Oh, oh, Muriel. Oh, Bad. Oh, <laughs> you're just making courage porn for somebody. <laughs> They were hitting him with their newspaper. You've been a real bad dog. They, they, oh. <laughs> Muriel. They're jerking it to this scenario of courage getting slapped over and over. Getting spanked, Ooh. even. Mm, and as he goes, Ooh. Ooh. Muriel. It's so humiliating. Stop pulling my ears, Muriel. Ooh. <laughs> I hate you, courage. Ooh. She never said that. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a new episode. <laughs> she was this saying is, uh, needs vinegar. Guess what, guys? John Dilworth, uh, his Kickstarter succeeded, and we're, we're doing the voices for his new Courage show. He doesn't even need new voices. They use two different voice clips for every episode. Mm, uh, yeah, because it's us. Stop holding me down in my poo. Bad dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest episode of <laughs> I've finally done it. I found true pure you know, art. We can find him too. We can find a little courage. Where is he? <laughs> you fucking loser. Oh, courage. Get down on your knees. Oh. <laughs> oh. Stop. <laughs> Stop killing me with your hair. Stop smelling my butthole. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh! Okay, it's Eustace. <laughs> I love Eustace. He always comes out and he goes, "Inconceivable!" <laughs> this is new voice. Yeah, inconceivable. Why did they get that guy? <laughs> What's his name? Why am I an idiot and I don't remember his name? I don't remember either. But like, it sticks out like a sore thumb. You can't just switch the voice over to that. It's not even the same voice. Like, he didn't even try to he mix says, it up. There's always a uh, my way. No, he says stupid dog. I stupid thought. dog, you're making me gay. I'm Ooh. sorry. <laughs> making me gay. <laughs> Stop fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one, that, 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 one, <laughs> that one's not going in the video, is it? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yes, it is. That was a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Julian. <laughs> Julian, you know, you really upped my confidence. You're saying you, now you're best. making a rape joke. It's not. It's, it's a not fucking a dog joke. joke. Why is it? He said, "Stop fucking me." Why is that a rape joke? <laughs> now it's a rape joke. Before it was just a minor molestation joke. <laughs> he said, "Stop, stop." <laughs> I, I give you my consent. Oh. The things I do for okay. love. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, if he's giving consent, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wee. <laughs> Julian, don't die. I'll be okay. Good. <laughs> if you die, I don't know what I'd do. Look at this child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is my favorite game. Oh. Kids are being kidnapped? Mm. Talking to the wrong man. But I'm a boy now. You are a big boy, aren't you? Hello, little boy. Yeah. You just kiss him? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because he's a big boy. Stop kissing little kids and get back to work. He's a big boy. That means he's legal now. <laughs> he legal. <laughs> he comes sand. It's like the greatest like court case ever. It's like, what do you say to fucking all those kids? He legal. He legal. He legal. He said he a big boy. <laughs> he was a big boy. It's the shortest court case ever. Okay. He legal. <laughs> Dismissed. He a big boy, he legal. <laughs> That's them presenting all the evidence. It says here, <laughs> he a big boy and he legal. <laughs> Written in crayon. How am I getting lost? <laughs> you oh, go in the same this place. This is the worst episode. We haven't said anything funny. Give me a back and track. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Down the street, got grass between my toes. I walk into a park and my hair grows. I pick up a ball, throw it at a kid, fell on his ball. That's what I did. <laughs> that was good. Okay, we got two hit songs this already. Only plays the musical episode. Call it ball at a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do ball at symbol kid. <laughs> ball at kid. <laughs> This is such a typical modern fucking title. <laughs> this is gonna be a good episode. Okay, what's your name for your album? Big Bizgo. <laughs> Do you know what? That would work. Yo, I'm Big Bizgo. Donate to my mom. <laughs> she got a big titty. My dad and I'll, I'll, I'll be DJ Memo. You'll be DJ Meme Boy. <laughs>
Julian, your your name is. Uh, it would be something about being fat. You could be Jigo J. There you go. That works. <laughs> Jigo J. Yo, man, I, I'm Biz Go. Jigo J. Yeah, well, let's have an interview about your new song. Hey, I was man. I was driving my car and I went to Dunga Donut and they <laughs> said you can't run a song out. Interview me. Okay. My new album. Tell us about your new album and what inspired it. Man, I was just shitting on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> When was the last time we talked about this fucking game that's happening? <laughs> what are you... I'm even doing it right now. <laughs> Man, that's all. I mean. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Oh my god, my, my terrible bowel syndrome. <laughs> that's IBS. I got TMJ. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Yes, TMJ. Is a little of everything. I got 50 million hits on Big Tube, man. <laughs> That's our website. It's my website. <laughs> All the hits are just megabytes. <laughs> megabytes? That, that is a thing they All would the, say in an interview. The, All the man, it's, all, it's, it's all digital data. <laughs> counts as a, it, it's all in the site. This is fucking nasty. It's all in the site. <laughs> okay. Sitting down. With the thing in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wanted to hear where that was going. You left. You can go on. Yeah. Go. What's sad is it's too accurate. <laughs> <laughs> this didn't used to be accurate. But I swear to God, every time we're in an Uber right now, that's all that ever comes on is just on. It's just what they're saying. What comes into their head? They don't what think it, about what it. is that popular one where he's like, I don't know when you're going for it. I fucked every part of your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. She didn't love with my girlfriend. There was the other one we heard. She said, "Man, you so China. You like China?" <laughs> and she's just saying China for like a minute straight. I, I don't know. Did they all just say what the first thing that comes into their heads? It seems like. And by the way, I am a fan of the hip hop. Heavy D and the Boys. I like a. Uh, I like uh, kid, you like and, kid and play. I like kid and play. Kid and play. Ding dong. Yeah. Did you hear that Kanye West song when he's on the bike with Kim Kardashian? He's fucking her on the bike, and and he's rapping. He's going because of the bike. <laughs> no, but the, the, there's a lyric in that song that's really funny. He's like, he's like, <laughs> oh fuck, what does he say? It's like he says, "We're on oh. a bike. How about that?" <laughs> he's like, "I fuck you on a kitchen sink." Then I spunked on your mink. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. No. Such an idiot. That was the one song that our, our friend told us about was Wet the Bed. It's just, <laughs> I, I'm going to put your legs behind your head. I'm going to make you wet the bed. And we she was quoted just, that for so long. I, it's because of how she described it, too, because she said, it sounds like it's a children's book. Like, this is a monster that comes out of the closet, <laughs> and it makes you wet the bed. <laughs> there's another part where he's like... It's not sexy. There's another part, like, this, this is him talking about the first time he met his wife, apparently, and he's like, Remember the time when we first met? I, I don't remember when we first met. Uh, admitting is the first step. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's such a dumbass. <laughs> he says, help me. <laughs> He falls over and he can't get up. He's slowly forgetting everything. <laughs> remember when we first met? I, I don't remember. Cause I, yeah, because I don't. By that, he called me stupid. Get a gun and shoot him in stupid. My dad, he give me big penny. I throw it in his face <laughs> like a big penny. You're too, you're, you were doing so fucking good. That was too close to real. That was too close to real, Chris. I know. I'm a big baddie, give a big penny. <laughs> Gonna go with my big, 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 big. <laughs> you imagine a, ra you imagine a, ra a, rapper, a rapper dragging a giant penny behind him on a chain? <laughs> I can totally imagine He that. rolls it out on stage. <laughs> He's pulling it over his back. It symbolizes like, Jesus I'm carrying the cross. I'm big penny. <laughs> <laughs> big penny. That's his name? Big Penny. <laughs> big Penny's the rapper's name. He drags a giant penny around on a Fuck chain. Fuck the coppers. I got big copper. My dad killed my mom. He's a robber. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like crime. He covered her in slime. <laughs> Push her down the stairs like every other time. Oh, yeah, that was pretty that's good. That's a Sonic lyric. <laughs> he says like every single day. That's one of the lyrics. My dad was a, a big man. 
Big band. <laughs> you're you're devolving the T dub. My dad ran in with a big penny. Dropped it on the floor and it didn't. Okay, you know what? Can we do this? This is our fictional rapper's Big Penny. Yeah. <laughs> big penny. His album is Big Spendy. <laughs> do you think Motifa listens to Big Penny? Um, <laughs> I, no, Big Penny's modern. Can we Motifa's can we draw this that it's some guy who rolls out a giant penny on stage? Like he has he has a million chains strapped to it. He tries to roll it out behind I like him. The idea of him carrying it over his shoulder like Jesus carried the cross. <laughs> he just drags it along the floor, making a scary sound effect, and it's super epic. And everyone gets super crazy when they hear it being dragged. They're like, yeah! <laughs> and then it starts to go. Big Penny. <laughs> Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> and it was like, yeah! And then he starts swinging the penny around and he's super buff. He said, You all ready for a copper to drop? <laughs> That's copper pretty good. Ready. Everybody drop your coppers. <laughs> Yo, hedge your tails. Make your call. What Epic he, fails. What, what if that's how he like got money for his concerts? Is he makes people walk in and drop all the coppers <laughs> out of their pockets, and everyone loves him because that's how they get rid of change. He <laughs> he dishes out little tiny pennies at everyone in the crowd. He moonwalks over it. Fucks pennies at the strippers' faces, cutting them up. He doesn't treat women Cut right. It. He only he only dates girls named P Penny. <laughs> penny and uh, and oh, uh, a penny saved is a penny earned. Penny save is a penny sperm. <laughs> That'd be one of his rap names. There you go. <laughs> big Penny got a, a penny, big... <laughs> a penny shave is a penny sperm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I very much like this, uh... A penny grave is this a fictional penny sperm. character. This is, this is... Chris, this is getting too real. I know. Can we make this? Can we do this? Can we make an album cover for Big Penny? I, I, I Photoshop, don't. like, 20 people together to create this man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did for Mabumbo. <laughs> oh my god. I miss Mabumbo. Okay, what's Big Penny's hit song? Um... Uh... Too much change. Cold hard sense or something like that. <laughs> too much change Common weighs sense. you down. Common sense. It would be like call for change. That's what it would be. Too much change, way you down. I don't know, is he political? <laughs> is he political, or is he about, like, Oh, he's 100% oh, I'm living, supporter. I'm living the, the, the big life, look at how expensive everything Fucking I have is. Hillary Clinton. Okay. Uh, Aka change, do you smell the winds of change? <laughs> Here we are, everybody, it's the best level. Dirty penny. <laughs> smelly penny. <laughs> smelly penny. <laughs> Pennies are kind of smelly. They are smelly. They smell like copper. When you hold them too long, you they, <laughs> they... That's what his music starts devolving into. <laughs> Take a penny, leave a penny. If you taste a penny, you don't taste so good. <laughs> <laughs> Make my tummy hurt. It don't feel so good. Then he wiggles his belly and it and makes a change sound. <laughs> He swallowed a bunch of yeah. <laughs> He just writes a song all about swallowing a penny. He comes out of the stage, this is a cry for help. My, my, my belly hurt. I can't stop eating pennies. <laughs> my belly hurt. My belly gonna squirt. There's a penny inside and its name is Bert. <laughs> he names every penny. Jesus. Big penny. That's who I am. Oh, I just shit my pants. Let's get this over with. See a penny, pick it up. Then I'll put it in a cup. And now I've got a penny in a cup. Who's the chump? Bubba Gump. I'm gonna blow everybody up. <laughs> Kaka. <laughs> okay. It's me. To this day, Kaka is still spinning in circles around the track, <laughs> huddled over crying. What would you do if you saw Kaka in real life? I wouldn't recognize him because he just looks like a yeah, nerd. I wouldn't either. Yeah. He would say, Help me, I've been trapped in the real world. I'm trapped. My name is Kaka. <laughs> Don't laugh. Can't you help? It's a Are you the Kaka? Yes. It's me from the video. I fell out of your TV what? while it was turned off. 
How did you do that? <laughs> you weren't there, so I can't prove it. Please take my word for it. Look, look in the manual. I'm not there anymore. <laughs> There's a little hole. <laughs> There's a little hole. Cut out. Cut out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he's holding the scissors still. <laughs> you gotta believe me. <laughs> Mom, Kaka's come to the real world. <laughs> Who the fuck is Kaka? What does that mean? Yeah, don't. <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> I was thinking about something today. What was it? I was You're... thinking about yanking my brain out. I was thinking about something that was deeply oh. unsettling. Not again. Not again. Tell That's me. what it was. Tell me. You know the way people keep monkeys as pets? Uh huh. And they put them in little clothes? Yeah. That really disturbs me for some reason. I mean, it's probably not very comfortable for the animals. It's yeah. just, it's like, it just freaks me out knowing that there's little remnants of the past that we try to put in the future and they don't know what's going on. What if you dressed up a little chimp as Freddy Freaker? <laughs> How do you dress a chimp up as Fred? Like he has a, a full body suit? Yeah. What if you got a little capuchin and gave and you him- made it, You made his arms stiff. You so gave, him, like that you gave him plastic surgery to look exactly <laughs> like it. Why do we keep talking about Freddy Freaker today? He's good. Press the button, Chris. One four nine one four zero oh, three. <laughs> four zero oh, one four four one 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 four one, two, one three four five six freak. <laughs> freak 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 one four freak freak freak. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that you have to put in all those numbers. One freak, two freak, three freak, four. Now the freak is knocking on your door. <laughs> now the freak is at your door. <laughs> Seven freak, nine freak, eight freak, two. Now the freak He's is coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end for you. I don't care that I lost because I was really funny. Chris, if you woke up, there's a bang on your window. You look out, and it's, pretty, it's pretty freaker bouncing I'd back fuck, and forth. I'd fucking scream. Didn't you say that? His I'd puppet? Be, I'd be so scared. Some The guy who made his puppet made his arms articulated, but they didn't yeah, even they bother. Did, they didn't even bother. <laughs> it makes it funnier. <laughs> That his arms are just always T-posing. They made a shirt of him, and he's also in the t posing <laughs> shirt. Well, of course, that's a recognizable image. Such a cutie. You gotta have your, your brand integrity. Peter, Freddy Freaker's dancing in a living room! Jesus fucking Christ. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, dear why God. Is, why is he so upset? <laughs> oh, dear God, no. <laughs> Anything but him. <laughs> uh, is that for- uh, <laughs> Freddy Freaker. <you. laughs> stop it with the Freddy Freaker. I can't. I can't. Today, stop it. That all you see is Freddy Freaker dancing <laughs> on the TV. Ta don't- don't pick the ski jump again. FUCK! <laughs> Can I ask everybody at home for one last favor? Everybody, give me your energy. Wake your parents up right, right now. <laughs> right, yeah, have the- have, wake your parents up to lift <laughs> their hands up in the Guys, air. Guys, I'm dying, I need your energy. If I, I, we need your parents' energy! I Harvest need, your parents' energy! Guys, it's- it, I don't care if it's 4 a.m. where you're at right now in fucking Wisconsin. Please, just go- Ah! Yeah. Just constant. Run into your mom's room uh -oh. screaming and say, Mom, you need to power up with me. <laughs> Zach oh! needs your strength. Mom. Guys, please record you saying, Bobby, please power up right now. Zach is gonna lose Mario 3 if he don't power up. Look, guys, uh, we, we know there's a few, like, 28-year-olds living with their parents out there. If you send us in a video of you waking up your mom and say, Mommy... Zach needs your power up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you send that in, we'll put it in the next episode. Yeah, actually, that, we'll start the next episode off with that. <laughs> Mommy, Zach, you have to, you have to call Bobby. The more Bobby. pathetic you look, the better. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh! Try to have some like spaghetti sauce in your beard yeah, and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, have like a big yellow mustard stain on, on, your, on your white t shirt. And a diaper if possible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's, that's fucked. Hey, what the f Zach, Zach, Zach. I've got a great idea. Just follow the mouse, right? I'm gonna help you cheat oh, oh. over here, right? Wait, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, before we do that, Ooh. can I just say something over here? Turn the music down. I wanna say this, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough so far. We're having a real hard time tonight. I don't know what, what it is, if it's the full moon or whatever. You know, I believe in astrology and everything. And I think I think a lot of the stars are making us not very good tonight. So I'm going to do... I asked all of you for your energy before. And I'm going to take that energy. This is a shout out to everybody who gave us their energy beforehand. Can I ask everybody at home for one last...
best favor. It'll be giving your energy. Wait your parents up right now, right now. Mommy. Mommy. Mom. Mom, 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 mom. Mom, you gotta get up. You gotta, you gotta blaze your energy. You gotta put your hands in the air. Zach has to get energy so he can beat Super Mario Bros. 3. All right, let's go. Let's, this, let's. Okay, okay, okay. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I did, it. it's done. I don't fucking done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> very careful. Mario with Patrick's voice. What the heck is that thing? Whoa. Well, I don't know, Mario. <laughs> that's pretty good, actually. Why don't you suck my dick? Okay. Oh, that's really. <laughs> oh. I'm not a folk, so oh, I, I kind of regret asking I, for this. I saw that a picture of Sandy <laughs> sucking up cars. Oh, uh, yeah. It, it's awful, isn't it? It's good. Somebody mod so, this game so it's Julian instead of Crash Bandicoot. They become, they become crystallized. <laughs> their life force turns into the gem, and you hear their screams. The scream? Is this a creepy pasta? No. Oh. This is fact. Crash, crash Bandicoot. Then Crash Bandicoot looked like a real Bandicoot, except he was standing up and and looked like a cartoon Bandicoot, but he was realistic, and his eyes. Why were do bleeding. we talk about creepy pasta so much? They're funny <laughs> because they're easy to make fun of because it has stupid. I horror. remember. I feel so embarrassed now because I used to. <sighs> oh fuck! Jesus. Uh, like ten years ago, I used to advocate I would like for creepy pastas. I used to be like. My my friends would be like, "What are you doing reading these creepy pastas?" And I would be like, "No, they're actually really spooky. I think they're cool." <laughs> and and this one's about Mario, but time, he's dead. As time went on and they became more mainstream, they would like just it just got filled with garbage. And now, now if you say creepy pasta, you likely mean oh some shitty video game thing. <laughs> I think they're epic. There's like a f fucking eleven billion YouTube channels where they read. Where they read bad creepypastas in their shitty British voices that sound really bored. The thing, when I used to like listen to those too, Julian, they always had shitty microphones and shitty voices for reading it. Yeah. Because it's scarier. They're not, they don't even, it's, it's, it's fucking bizarre. They was, don't even try to put on an affect or anything. Yeah, no, they, they're they, just like, they always sound yeah, like little kids. Um, like, then and they then took he went this, to the They store. took the stairs even though it was very dark. <laughs> Yeah, they don't even try. My my favorite is when it's documented, like it's a. Uh, I, I woke up this morning. Hi, diary. Uh, <laughs> You're putting I, too much emotion into it. Yeah, I woke up. I this woke morning. up this morning and I went to the the game I bought from the garage Julian. sale. I got Mario and I feel like I'm losing sanity. I'm going to kill <laughs> myself. There you go. And then the final chapter says he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny. <laughs> and, 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 the, and these are real records documented from his laptop because I was his best friend, and as soon as he died, I took his laptop to upload these. But then the spooky thing starts happening to them. And then they get haunted by Mario.exe. Yeah. Because when something's an application on a computer, it's scary. <laughs> I relate Wait, because... Wait, Photoshop.exe? I use... <laughs> I use the XEs! <laughs> Wait a minute! The, no! <laughs> the XEs are my friends! Chris, it could happen to you! No. You know what? I challenge. I don't think I've ever seen I, that. I challenge you to an EX. Oh, fuck <laughs> you! Are you serious? That is such a fucking trap! Fuck this game! <laughs> You're right, it is a trap. That was such bullshit! I challenge somebody to write a creepypasta about oh, Photoshop. Stupid game. Or, or, or some other program that's clearly not. It was a, video a photo program. of me on the screen, and it kept liquefying it, and it made my eyes too big, and it, it wasn't made my flattering. Eyes too Big and suddenly I started getting millions of views. And then my eyes in real life were too big. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs kept flying into them. That'd be unpleasant. What if it was just, I hate that. What if the story was just all the practical problems <sighs> that I you would so run into? There's that one guy who took the photo like, oh, I just got cool piercings and he put the holes on the sides of his mouth. Yeah. But I hate the idea of that because that means there's just gaping holes always yeah. there and yeah. things are going to be getting into them all the time. Yeah. That guy's an idiot. <laughs> Why don't you laugh at anything, ding dong? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at this. <laughs> nah, that's okay. <laughs> play, the, play the xylophone. Give it a go. Oh, yeah. Be our musical we, accompaniment. We, we got a big surprise today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. This is a new level music. Play us a... Play oh! us, what the fuck was that? Play us a Kickstarter music. Did <laughs> it? No. Wait, Wait, I got a guitar. I'll play it. You, you play the game. Me? <laughs> Wait, no. How do you play this? 
Is, am I doing this okay? Oh, wait. Which I one don't... is it? Why can't I? There we go. No. Julian, you gotta do the Kickstarter. Julian. Oh, I don't know how to do. Julian. What? You gotta do the Kickstarter yeah. narration. Oh, okay. Well, this is gonna be really hard. So I go. Wait. Wait, no, it goes. <laughs> Hi. We're the Barry Brothers, and we have invented. Come on! I could do it. I could do it. I just need to. Okay, wait, wait. I can't play guitar, by the way. I can't. Wait, wait. I can't. Wait, wait. I can't. Wait, it's too real. Oh, go, go, go! Ow, my finger! Hi, I'm Ronald McForanald. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just, just hit whatever I'm notes really, you want. Okay. I'm really bad any, at any notes. I'm really yeah, bad notes. at keeping a straight face. I'm gonna sell you the best night of your life. Take, take my wife, please. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the narration. That's a good Fuck you. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chris. I'm what? not. Here's my narration. Okay, you ready to Fucking go? Fucking shit! Go. Why am okay. I doing this? Hello, I'm a boy. And I like playing with my toy. <laughs> if, you, if you want to buy my toy, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I never want to do this. Yeah, what, a, what an awful idea. What do you mean? It was great. Uh. Give me back the controller. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. Help! <laughs> Everyone, please donate to the Kickstarter. Oh no! <laughs> Come here! Stop I'm hitting trying me. to. I'm trying to pat your Julian's back. hitting me. I'm trying to pat your back. He's striking me. Quit moving around. Oh, Help. I missed you. No, Julian, leave him alone. I'm trying to save him! I'm trying to Farewell. save him. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I'm so sorry I messed up that bit. That could have been really funny. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> who is that guy who hosts the Game Awards? Uh, uh Spencer? No. no, that was, uh... Oh, what's his name? Jeff... Jeff Keighley. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, what would you do if Jeff Keighley walked in... Put his drink down on the table. Angry Joe would walk in front of him and say, He's fucking with me! <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if a video got released of Jeff Keighley oh just Who like- Who is he gonna fucking behead? Uh, me? Ding dong. Yeah? What would you do if a video of Jeff ready? Keighley got released where he's pushing Angry Joe around a parking lot, good. slapping him in the face? It'd be really funny. <laughs> I mean, that's the equivalent of that video Angry Joe uploaded anyways. No, it wasn't. Jeff Keighley was really nice about it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Angry Joe's beat an asshole. That's what I'm saying, though. Is that Angry Joe's really, really pissed off with him trying to start a fight, and he's just slapping him around. But what if- but he's not slapping him around, he's just answering his questions, like, intelligently. What would you do if a video got released where he was actually just being really mean bully to him? Uh... I'd be disappointed because the video that already exists was... Uh, probably as good as it could get. It's true. And he walks- I love the way he walks in front of his own video, yeah. and he goes, it's like the, the fuck?! It's, it's like the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a Kevin Smith movie. What makes the difference between not being able to hit him normally and when you can hit him? I think I have to hit his head. It's he he, red said, he red. said, there, there's no section for RPGs, and he says, we, we just added one this year. <laughs> but there's so many RPGs that could be winning awards! <laughs> okay, name some games. Final Fantasy! <laughs> Did yeah. Final Fantasy come out this year? Uh, no. <laughs> and then he stops the video and goes, Final Fantasy did come out this year! He's <laughs> messing with me! <laughs> Chris, yeah. if you make a horrible mistake, be sure to upload it and interrupt yourself and say, D I I Listen! The reason I did this was because they were screwing with me! <laughs> I'm not stupid! They got in my brain! <laughs> they stupid! <laughs> they stupid. Me smart, they dumb! <laughs> come, come out and only a diaper sucking your thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Me know everything. <laughs> they know nothing. Oh, I think that's overkill. What would you do if Angry Joe got turned into a big baby? 
<laughs> It'd be really funny. He was the exact same height, but he had the proportions of a baby and he sucked God. his thumb and wore diapers. The abortions of a baby? <laughs> oh, me. I said proportions. Proportions? I said abortions. He had the big, <laughs> the big head and big butt of a baby in a diaper. He shits himself and wait, so he's like the, he's like big the robot. butt of a baby. <laughs> he's like the robot ass from Baby Geniuses. Wait, Chris, what? what are you talking about? Baby asses are huge and fat. Baby got them ghetto boots. <laughs> Is he like the creepy baby from Robot Genius? Baby Genius! <laughs> <Robot> Robot <laughs> Genius. I love Robot Genius! Robot Baby! I, creepy, I love Robot Baby the creepy Genius! creepy robot from Baby Geniuses! <laughs> He's got that weird troll face. Does he? Yeah. Do you like it when the baby dances? No. What's he doing? Do you like when baby go boom boom? Baby <laughs> <laughs> go boom boom! I need changing. Did you ever see the, the scene in the sequel when they tried to look up the bad guy on the internet and the website gets pulled up and goes, Yeah, money, money, money! <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong! What? I was doing an impression of a door. Oh. Oh, I get confused by that a lot. <laughs> when you hear the doorbell uh -huh. and you go, Me! <laughs> <laughs> there he is, my special little man. Julian, you are gay! <laughs> <laughs>